Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. I am the living devil, and the empress advises me to calm down. Chapter 61. The victory of the Great Zhou Dynasty swept the country with the Great Zhou News. This time, Yang Yi's reputation as a poisonous scholar was completely known. Before this, Yang Yi's reputation was at most famous among the upper classes of various countries. But this time, all the people of the Great Zhou Dynasty saw it. They have such a peerless genius in the Great Zhou Dynasty. For a time, the streets and alleys of Luoyang were all discussing Yang Yi. Even the gossipers compared Yang Yi with the top counselors of various countries. And all the things Yang Yi had done were dug out, such as disaster relief and cheating grain merchants, which shocked countless people who didn't know before. Great Zhou, Shu Yu Palace, tisk tisk tisk, it turns out to be Prime Minister Yang. Wu Mingyu blinked her black eyes and smiled. Today she was wearing a light green lotus leaf dress, with a golden phoenix hairpin on her head, her long black and smooth hair spread out behind her, her full chest lifted up the dress, revealing a large area of white and tender skin, and against the green clothes, her skin looked even whiter and smoother, like a peeled egg. Yang Yi looked at Wu Mingyu with a smile. This girl seems to have grown up a little bit. Tisk tisk, young girls grow up fast. He estimated that she must be at least C+. In a few years, won't she be unable to control it with one hand? Yang Yi muttered in his heart, smiling on his face. Your Highness, you are too polite. Wu Mingyu pouted and widened her eyes. Hey, can I ask you, where do you get so many bad ideas? I saw that you have thick eyebrows and big eyes, but I didn't expect that you have so many bad tricks. You can't judge a person by his appearance. Quote, Yang Yi glanced at her chest and subconsciously wanted to refute. You can't judge a chest by appearance. It was not obvious when she wore more clothes before, but now that she wears less, it is indeed unfathomable. But when the words came to his lips, he held them back. If this were to be told to others, it would be a naked teasing of the princess. I guess this girl would run away in shame again. Wu Mingyu put her hands on her waist and said again. Hey, since you have so many dirty tricks, can you help me think of a trick to deal with a few people? Yang Yi said with a smile. Is there anyone that Her Royal Highness the Princess can't deal with? Wu Mingyu's beautiful eyebrows slightly frowned. Quote dot 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 quote. There are two very, very annoying people. I can't do anything to them. Yang Yi raised her eyebrows. Who? Wu Mingyu gritted her teeth. Wu Yuanqing, the King of Liang, Wu Yuanshuang, the King of Wei. Wu Yuanshuang took money from the Qing envoy and wanted to hand you back in exchange for peace. The matter was exposed and he was arrested by the imperial sister. These days are the birthday of my father. Wu Yuanqing rushed back and kept looking for the imperial sister, wanting her to release Wu Yuanshuang. Quote, Whatever Wu Yuanshuang said, he was doing it for the peace of the great Zhou, he didn't commit any serious crime. He always uses the will of the emperor to pressure the emperor's sister. Before the emperor died, he asked the emperor's sister not to harm the lives of two people. The emperor's sister is grateful to the emperor for passing the throne to her, a woman, despite the great disapproval of the world, so she always keeps the emperor's words in mind. As long as they don't commit extremely serious things, the emperor's sister will generally not punish them. But the emperor's sister is really angry this time. Then Wu Yuanqing is still not giving up. Yang Yi touched his chin. So it's these two. At the beginning, the king of Wei was going to pack him up and give him to the Qing kingdom. He hasn't taken revenge yet. Wu Mingyu saw him in deep thought and hurriedly said. You have no way to deal with them. Yang Yi sniffed the fragrance of Wu Mingyu close at hand and smiled slightly. Of course there is. Wu Mingyu's eyes lit up. Really? Yang Yi's mouth curled up slightly. Of course. Not only can I discipline them, I can even make them suffer. Wu Mingyu's delicate little face showed surprise. So powerful. Then, she suddenly realized. The person in front of her was the number one poisoner in the Great Zhou Dynasty. Wu Mingyu's face turned pale, and she said hurriedly. Yang Yi, you can't kill them. Although my sister wants to deal with them, it's not good to be accused of killing her brother. That's a lifelong stain. She wanted to help her sister deal with Wu Yuanqing and Wu Yuanshuang. But she really didn't want to kill Wu Yuanqing and Wu Yuanshuang. In that case, it would be a disservice to her sister. She knew her sister very well, and she was determined to be a wise ruler. 
If this was stained, how could she not be a wise ruler? Yang Yi's mouth twitched. Is he so scary? Didn't he just say something to make them miserable, and didn't say to kill them? He coughed lightly. Of course not to kill them. What's the point of killing them? Of course to torture them. Wu Mingyu stared at Yang Yi with sparkling eyes. What's the solution? Tell me now. Yang Yi blinked. Princess, give me a kiss and I'll tell you. Wu Mingyu was startled, and then her fair face became hot. Quote dot 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 exclamation mark quote. Yang Yi smiled at the blushing Wu Mingyu. He was actually joking, he just liked to tease this girl. The shy side of the princess is not something that ordinary people can see. Yang Yi shook his head and said, Your Highness Princess asked me for help, so you should give me some thanks. I can't help Your Highness Princess and offend the two princes for nothing. Your Highness Princess, you. Before he finished speaking, he was pecked on the cheek. Yang Yi was stunned, and he looked at Wu Mingyu in surprise. Then he saw that the princess tilted her head slightly, as if she didn't dare to look at him, and her white neck was red. Hey, you can talk now. Yang Yi. He thought Wu Mingyu would yell three times in shame and anger, and then punch him. Unexpectedly, this girl kissed him directly. The girl's lips were very soft. Yang Yi twitched his mouth. You are really stupid. What a kiss. He took a deep breath and said calmly. This method is very simple. Just reward them. Quote. Reward them. Wu Zhao was stunned, and a trace of astonishment appeared on her cold and noble face. Wu Mingyu shook her head and said. Yes, to be precise, it is to reward their descendants. Wu Zhao glared at Wu Mingyu with some amusement. I will reward their descendants only if I am crazy. Quote dot 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 quote. Is this the way you said to deal with them? This is not dealing with them, it is clearly a reward. Okay, don't bother me, go back and have a rest. Wu Zhao ignored her after saying that, and continued to deal with her own memorials. Wu Mingyu was anxious, and hurried to Wu Zhao's side, put her arm on her chest and acted coquettishly. Royal sister, don't be anxious. Listen to me. I really have a way to deal with them. Wu Zhao rolled her eyes at her helplessly. Sanyang, I know what you are thinking. But, because of their identities, I can't touch them. So, don't worry about it. Quote, Wu Mingyu curled her lips, looking dissatisfied. Royal sister, why did you not accept Yang Yi's plan, no matter how outrageous it was? Quote, can't you listen to your sister's clever plan? Wu Zhao's cold and noble face couldn't help but smile. You don't know, Wu Mingyu. Hash, she was so angry that she held Wu Zhao's arm and shook it. No, no, you have to listen to me. Quote, Wu Zhao shook her head helplessly, put down the memorial, tilted her head slightly, and looked at him. Right, Wu Mingyu was delighted and immediately straightened her chest. Imperial sister, listen carefully. This strategy is to reward their descendants, cancel the eldest son's inheritance, and let their land be inherited by their eldest son, second son, third son and other sons, and then their third generation will do the same. Quote, Wu Zhao was startled, and her nonchalant expression suddenly changed. She fell into deep thought. Cancel the eldest son's inheritance. Distribute the land to all sons. She was a smart woman and soon understood the deep meaning. Wu Zhao raised her eyebrows, and her white palms clenched into fists involuntarily, with a hint of shock in her tone. The sons divided the land, and then the grandsons divided it. The land that was originally as big as a state capital finally became about the size of a county. What a good method, and they have no room for resistance. What a sinister plan. Seeing the shocked look on her sister's face, Wu Mingyu felt very satisfied. She said with a smile. How is it, sister? Is my plan powerful? Wu Zhao glanced at her third sister, whose face was full of praise, and seemed to be thinking about something. It's not something you came up with, right? Wu Mingyu's face froze. Her expression was seen by Wu Zhao who secretly said, as expected. Wu Mingyu quickly shook her head, righteously. How could it be, sister? Such a brilliant plan, of course, can only be thought of by your extremely smart, beautiful and noble third sister. Wu Zhao was speechless. This naive third sister has no idea of her own IQ. She pondered for a moment. Did Yang Yi come up with it? Wu Mingyu froze, and she immediately looked like a deflated ball, with a droopy face. Royal sister, how did you guess? Wu Zhao looked serious. 
It can be anyone who came up with this plan, but it will never be you. Wu Mingyu. She felt that her self-esteem was hurt. Wu Zhao looked at Wu Mingyu with a smile. And beside you, there will be no one else who can come up with such a sinister and vicious plan except Yang Yi. She originally wanted to say that such a sinister plan, except Yang Yi, who else could figure it out? If there is any humanity, it is impossible for Yang Yi to come up with it. Wu Mingyu sighed and curled her lips. It was indeed his idea. He said that this strategy could make the two men's homes restless forever and greatly weaken their power. In a few years, the fiefs of the two princes will be taken back by the court without bloodshed. Wu Zhao nodded slightly, her eyes full of admiration. Indeed, this strategy can be said to have completely solved my biggest worry. These two people are not on good terms with me. But they don't rebel and keep their fiefs. Sooner or later, they will become a big worry for the court. But if their land is divided in this way, their power will be greatly weakened. After all, their sons are not easy to deal with. And not only can they accept my gift with a smile, but they also have to swallow their tears and deal with the conflicts between their sons. After all, their sons have the right of inheritance and will have to fight for the rich land. This strategy seems generous, but it is actually cruel and insidious. Quote, Wu Mingyu snorted. If Yang Yi's strategy is not insidious, he is not himself. He actually had the nerve to tell me that this strategy is called the infefment order. How can this be infefment? This is clearly infefment. Wu Yan's rosy lips curled up, as if thinking about something. Infefment order. What a good name. Three days later. Council Hall. Wu Zhao glanced at everyone in the hall. If there is nothing else, let's leave the court. Everyone nodded slightly and prepared to leave as usual. Suddenly, a voice sounded, Your Majesty, I have something to say. Everyone was stunned and looked at Yang Yi curiously, feeling a little strange. What did Yang Shang come out for? Wu Zhao pretended to be calm. Please speak, Mr. Yang. Yang Yi looked at the Empress helplessly. This was what the Empress asked him to do. After all, this trick was too damaging, and the Empress didn't want to bear it. Anyway, it was on his head, and he was not afraid of itching. He muttered in his heart, but he understood on the surface. I think that my great Zhou is expanding its territory and expanding its land. The feudal system left by the previous emperor is no longer suitable for the future great Zhou. The land of the princes is limited. I have a plan to reward the princes and benefit my great Zhou. Quote. Everyone was stunned, and looked at Yang Yi in a daze. Infefment of princes. Why did Yang Yi get involved in this for no apparent reason? This is clearly irrelevant. Inside the hall, standing in the front row of officials, a middle-aged man in a dragon robe looked surprised. This man was Liang Wang Wu Yuanqing. Wu Yuanqing did not expect Yang Yi to suddenly write a letter to change the infefment policy left by his father. Moreover, it sounds like it is beneficial to them, the princes. Everyone in the hall looked at each other. This Yang what does ye mean by this? Is it to increase the land of the vassal kings? Wei Yuanzhang stroked his beard, his face dissatisfied. Minister Yang, what's the strategy you mentioned? Do you think the fiefs of the vassal kings are too small, so you want to re-reward them? He is an old minister that the empress relies on. Of course, he knows the empress's mind and does not want the vassal kings to be in power. Besides, from the perspective of the stability of the court, the power of the vassal kings should not be too great. What's wrong with Yang Yi today? Do you want to re-reward the vassal kings? The other officials also looked at Yang Yi with complicated expressions. This Yang Shangye is not right today. It is not good for the court that the vassal kings are too powerful. Yang Yi smiled and did not care about Wei Yuanzhang's tone. After all, this old minister is also for the great Zhou. He nodded sincerely. Yes, Duke Wei, I think the current king of Liang and king of Wei should be re-rewarded. Their land is limited. Only the eldest son inherits the land of other sons, but the other sons have no land. Quote. But all the descendants are the blood of my great Zhou royal family. How can they have no land? So I think the court should change the policy of infefment and give some land to the sons of these vassal kings. Wu Yuanqing nodded repeatedly after hearing this, and was overjoyed. He looked at Yang Yi a little more favorably. This kid is right. The court defeated the Qing kingdom and took so much land, so they should give them some. But why did Yang Yi suddenly speak to him? 
Could it be that this person was trying to show goodwill to him? Many speculations flashed through Wu Yuanqing's mind. The other officials were stunned. This kid is courting death. He still wants to give land to the descendants of the vassal kings. Isn't this accumulating power for the vassal kings? Everyone looked at each other in astonishment. What is this Yang Shang going crazy about today? Wu Zhao remained calm. What is the policy of enfeffment? Tell me about it. Quote. Yang Yi smiled at everyone's gaze. This policy of mine is called the enfeffment order. The system of primogeniture will be abolished, and the land of the princes will be inherited by the eldest son, the second son, and other sons. After Yang Yi finished speaking, the hall fell silent. Everyone stared at Yang Yi in amazement, with a look of shock on their faces. No, this is what you said about giving more land to the vassal kings. They were confused. They thought Yang Yi had been going around in circles for a long time, wanting the court to give more land to the vassal kings. Unexpectedly, in the end, it was still the vassal king's own land. Let all sons inherit the vassal king's fiefdoms. This is to make the vassal king's families restless. Originally, only the eldest son could get land, but now everyone can get a fiefdom. Isn't this going to make the dog brains go out? Moreover, once the vassal kings are divided, each of the vassal king's descendants will guard a small fiefdom in the future, and the court will have a lot of control. Everyone figured this out and took a breath. This is Yang Yi's plan. Use the name of the court's reward to implement this decree. That is a fair and above-board division of the vassal king's power. Moreover, in the name of the emperor's grace, the princes had to thank him. The only ones who were happy were the prince's descendants. Even though they knew that the imperial court's enfeffment order was a poisoned candy, they ate it willingly. This plan successfully transformed the contradiction between the local princes and the imperial court into a contradiction within the princes. And the imperial court reaped the benefits without spending a single soldier. This poisonous plan is a real conspiracy. Knowing that it is a sinister trick, the other party has to eat it. Everyone's heart is like a sea of overturned, looking at Yang Yi with a smile in shock, and their scalps are numb. This guy is really poisonous. Wu Yuanqing on the side was stunned. Although he is not smart, he is not stupid. Yang Yi's words are nice, but this so-called enfeffment order is a dose of poison. He also said that he would divide the land among the princes. In the end, he still cut his flesh. Wu Yuanqing gritted his teeth, holding on to the last glimmer of hope. Minister Yang, is that all you have to say about the enfeffment order? Yang Yi met the gaze of His Royal Highness the Prince of Liang and smiled slightly. Yes, Your Royal Highness the Prince of Liang. I've finished. This enfeffment order is to promote the grace of His Majesty the Imperial Court and benefit your descendants. If Your Majesty agrees, it will be the Emperor's grace. Does Your Royal Highness the Prince of Liang want anything else? Wu Yuanqing was so angry that the blood vessels on his forehead jumped. His face was ashen. Benefit his descendants. It's clearly a vicious plot that will cause endless harm. He hurriedly said to the Empress. 520, Your Majesty, Minister Yang's enfeffment order is not advisable. Wu Zhao said with a smile. Oh, why do I feel that this enfeffment order is so amazing? King Liang, you don't have to keep coming to tell me that only the eldest son can get land, and other sons can't get it and can only become commoners. Today I will adopt Yang Qing's plan. From today on, the Great Zhou will implement the enfeffment order. In the future, every one of your descendants will be able to get land. Bang! Wu Yuanqing's head buzzed, as if it was hit hard by a huge hammer. At this time, if he couldn't see that the Empress was playing a double act with Yang Yi, he would be a fool. The Empress had been waiting for him here for a long time. His heart shrank suddenly, and the fear and anger gripped his heart like a poisonous snake. His face turned pale, and he met the Empress's half-smile eyes, and a chill rushed straight from the soles of his feet to his heart. Wu Yuanqing gritted his teeth, lowered his head like a dog that has lost its home, and was in a state of despair. I thank you, Your Excellency. The hall was suddenly silent. Everyone looked at each other. If they still couldn't see that Yang Yi was doing it on purpose at this time, they would be too stupid. The Empress and Yang Yi had obviously discussed this. However, this enfeffment order is really insidious. They looked at Yang Yi in shock. Good man, will the poisonous schemes in Yang Yi's head never run out? This enfeffment order is so vicious. Half a month later.
the Han Dynasty, Kyoto, Gangkwan Palace. The hall is decorated with black dragon patterns everywhere, and the black and red background is matched with bronze and jade, giving people a sense of majesty and nobility. Exquisite silk blankets are spread in the hall, and the purple copper unicorn beast furnace is placed in the corner. A wisp of fragrance slowly overflows. A hurried sound of footsteps sounded. Grand Minister of Agriculture Sang Hongyang hurried in. In front of him, a man in a black wide-sleeved dragon robe with sharp edges said in a deep voice. What's wrong? Sang Hongyang hurriedly saluted the man. Hello, your majesty. Liu Che frowned. Sang Hongyang, you are in such a hurry, what happened? Is there a problem with the tribute? He became a little worried. If there is a problem with the tribute, the Han dynasty will be in trouble in the next few years, CJDD. After all, there is not much money in the treasury now. Sang Hongyang hurriedly said, Your Majesty, it's not a problem with the tribute, but there is good news, great good news. Liu Che was stunned and looked at Sang Hongyang in astonishment. Good news, what good news? Sang Hongyang took a deep breath. Your Majesty, there is a way to deal with these princes. Liu Che's face changed, and his eyes became sharp. What did you say? The Seven Kingdoms' rebellion has always been a thorn in his throat. Emperor Wen gave up the country's right to mint coins, so local princes such as King Wu Lu Bai mined copper mountains to mint coins. These princes naturally had the qualifications to compete with the court with money. Later, his father Emperor Jing weakened the local princes, so that the princes and the court broke out in a rebellion. Although the Seven Kingdoms' rebellion was eventually eliminated, for Lu Che. These vassal states have always been the source of unrest. If there is a way to completely eradicate them, it would be the best. But it is not easy to eradicate these princes. Liu Che gradually calmed down. He said in a deep voice, I know you share the country's worries, but now the country needs stability. If you need to mobilize troops, I'm afraid it's absolutely impossible. Quote. Sang Hongyang said hurriedly, Your Majesty, this plan does not require the use of troops. It does not even require any financial, material or human resources to resolve these princes. Liu Che's face was shocked, and then he was a little angry. Are you kidding me? Without a single soldier, and without any financial or material resources, can the princes be resolved? If it is so simple, how can there be a rebellion of the Seven Kingdoms? Sang Hongyang said with a serious face. Your Majesty, I dare not. This strategy is called the Enfefment Order. The Enfefment Order is to abolish the eldest son inheritance system of the vassal states and replace it with common inheritance by all sons. At this point, the sons of the vassal states will certainly respond to the court and will never resist. When the fiefs are distributed to the descendants of these vassal states, the fiefs will be reduced from large to small, and there will be countless conflicts between the descendants of the vassal states. They will never join forces. Even if one of the vassal states does not obey the court's order, the vassal states at that time are only the size of a county. Your Majesty only needs to make a slight move to suppress them. Liu Che was stunned when he heard this, and then his eyes showed shock. Quote backslash backslash dot 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 backslash backslash dot 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 quote. He immediately understood the essence of the enfeffment order. Using the greed of the sons of the vassal states, the enfeffment order can be implemented smoothly. And once the vassal kings die, the fiefs will be divided, and this will only last for two or three generations. These vassal states will no longer have the ability to compete with the court. This strategy is simple, but it cleverly exploits human nature. Since ancient times, people are not worried about the lack of wealth but the inequality. Only the eldest son can inherit, which is a harsh treatment for the other sons of the princes. Now that the court endorses it, how can they not support it? This is an open conspiracy. And the princes can only watch their land gradually split until it returns to the hands of the court. The hall is quite quiet. After a while, Liu Che took a deep breath and barely calmed down. There was shock in his eyes and ecstasy in his heart. What a great strategy, Sang Hongyang, is this what you came up with? Sang Hongyang hurriedly shook his head and smiled bitterly. Your Majesty, how can this be my humble minister's idea? This is the advice of Yang Yi, the first poisonous scholar in Zhou. Liu Che was stunned and frowned. Yang Yi, the first poisonous scholar in Zhou. He felt that the name seemed familiar, and he didn't know when he had heard of it. 
but he couldn't remember who this person was. The Zhou Kingdom was quite far from the Han Dynasty. In addition, due to the inconvenience of transportation, news from the Zhou Kingdom rarely reached here. Sang Hongyang smiled slightly, his eyes full of admiration for the first poisoner of the great Zhou Dynasty. He immediately said, Your Majesty, this man is a legendary figure in the great Zhou Dynasty. I heard that he once mixed sand into the relief grain to provide disaster relief. What? Lu Che frowned and his face was serious, isn't this nonsense? Is this man a treacherous minister? Sang Hongyang shook his head, his eyes full of admiration. On the contrary, your majesty. This man is a minister of the Zhou Kingdom. If those relief grains are good rice, they will be exploited by corrupt officials at all levels, and will never reach the hands of the people who really need it. There will also be rich families who are not short of food to collect relief grains. But if the relief grains are mixed with sand, it will be different. This relief grain can be distributed to the people safely and accurately. Quote. Quote. Yang Yi's move really saw through human nature, he is a genius. Liu Che's eyes widened, he was dumbfounded, and his eyes were shocked. He never expected that Yang Yi's seemingly vicious plan was actually for the people. This man is really a genius. Sang Hongyang saw Liu Che's shocked expression and couldn't help but continue. Later, a drought occurred in Hangzhou, Zhou State, and grain prices soared. Local grain merchants joined forces to raise the grain price to a level that ordinary people could not afford. Quote, quote. But the government could not provide grain, and the people of Hangzhou fell into despair. Quote. At that time, Yang Yi asked the Hangzhou government to stop issuing relief grain and bought grain at a high price. What? Liu Che was stunned. Why did he do this? Once the grain price is raised, won't more people starve to death? This is Yang Yi's brilliance. His strategy has increased the grain price in Hangzhou several times. And it was precisely because of the skyrocketing grain prices in Hangzhou that grain merchants from all over the country heard the news and rushed over to get a piece of the pie. When they came with cargo ships, Yang Yi stopped buying grain and started distributing relief grain. After a long time, those foreign grain merchants could not hold on because of cost issues. Yang Yi talked to them and finally bought their grain at a low price, allowing them to break even and leave. Because the grain of these foreign grain merchants was finally purchased by the government, the government sold it to the people of Hangzhou at a low price. In an instant, the price of grain in Hangzhou dropped like an avalanche, and even dropped several times a day. After that, the price of grain returned to normal levels, and the crisis in Hangzhou was resolved. After Sang Hongyang finished speaking, his face was still full of admiration. He was in finance, and because of this, he admired Yang Yi's trick. There was silence in the hall. Liu Che was stunned. There is such a wonderful plan. This person is a talent for assisting the king. He never thought that Yang Yi could solve the crisis in Hangzhou in this way. What a genius! Sang Hongyang smiled. Your Majesty, do you know about the war between Qing and Zhou? Liu Che pondered. I remember that it seems that Emperor Qianlong of Qing deliberately humiliated Zhou. The two countries have had a grudge since then. Sang Hongyang stroked his beard and smiled. Your Majesty, Zhou had just experienced disaster relief at that time, and there was no silver in the treasury of Zhou. And then it was Yang Yi who stood up again. Your Majesty, guess how he got the silver for the war? Liu Che asked tentatively. Did he ask the powerful and nobles for donations? Sang Hongyang shook his head, his eyes full of admiration. This man went to Qing alone and took money from the Qing people. Ah, Liu Che's majestic face showed astonishment. He was confused by Sang Hongyang's words. Sang Hongyang smiled slightly, and then he described in detail the TIS scam that he used in the Qing Yudong division. After a while, quote dot 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 dot. The so-called Yang scam is to rob Peter to pay Paul. It looks mysterious, but it is actually very simple. However, the core of this vicious scheme lies in people's greed. As long as they are greedy enough, this scheme will work. Sang Hongyang continued, the great Zhou relied on Yang Yi's money to support the war with the Qing dynasty. Liu Che took a breath, shocked, and his scalp numbed. Unbelievable, it was simply too incredible. He never thought that Yang Yi could get money with such a vicious scheme, and deceived so many people. This is too vicious. Sang Hongyang then told some of Yang Yi's vicious schemes against the Qing dynasty. Liu Che was shocked and his mouth opened wide. 
every strategy of Yang Yi seemed to be completely unexpected to him. And it was extremely vicious. He was dumbfounded and sweating profusely. What's more, those who faced Yang Yi's evil plan. Is Yang Yi a genius that only appears once in a thousand years? The more he dug up his evil plan, the more vicious it became. He was simply a living devil. After a while, Sang Hong Yang said in a deep voice, The infethment order that I am offering to your majesty is also the strategy of Yang Yi of the Great Zhou. I think this strategy is an ancient evil plan that is based on attacking the heart, and it is very suitable for our Han dynasty, so I offer it to your majesty. Liu Che suppressed his inner shock. He said in a deep voice, You are right. No country is more suitable for using the infethment order than our Han dynasty. Yang Yi is really a genius. We must pay close attention to him in the future. If this person confronts our Han dynasty in the future, we must be very careful. Yang Yi's terrible plan shocked him, and at the same time he was extremely wary. There are such evil people in the world. It is very likely that he will be his great enemy in the future. If you really encounter it, just thinking about those vicious plots will make your hair stand on end. Qing Dynasty, Jinluan Palace. It's a rebellion, it's a rebellion. Qianlong blew his beard and glared, and slapped the table. His face was full of anger. Fu Chi Fuang and others beside him were silent. Qianlong pushed away all the memorials in front of him and said angrily. It's just a few losses, isn't it? These sour scholars are acting like the sky is about to fall. As long as I am here, the sky of my Qing dynasty will not fall. He felt a sense of resentment in his chest. All these memorials were written by the imperial censors. They were all criticizing his inaction in the past six months. Even when he shouldn't have provoked the great Zhou, he was dragged out and scolded. He was an emperor who cared about his reputation, and he couldn't stand the imperial censors' faces. If he had used his previous style, he would have killed all these imperial censors with a knife. But, the Qing dynasty is indeed seriously injured now. No matter how Qianlong finds excuses, he can't cover up his mistakes. If he killed all these imperial censors at this time, I'm afraid he would be nailed to the pillar of shame by those historians. For a while, Qianlong gritted his teeth. It's just a Zhou dynasty. Nianqin was too careless and ruined himself. Agui was beaten to a pulp by the new weapons of the Zhou dynasty. Quote, they are all trash, trash. This time, I will lead the army in person. No matter what, we must take back all the lost cities. Fu Chi Fuang and others were shocked when they heard this. Qianlong wants to lead the army in person. Fu Chi Fuang said hurriedly, Your Majesty, the situation on the battlefield is now critical. Your Majesty is worth a lot of money, how can you lead the army in person? The other officials also advised. Qianlong waved his hand with a cold face. How could he not know what Fu Chi Fuang said? But on the one hand, now that the Qing dynasty has reached such a situation, he has to take all the responsibilities. As the king of a country, he must turn the situation around no matter what. Otherwise, wouldn't they be afraid of Zhou in the future? If they want to turn the situation around, the best way is to win a game against Zhou. Only in this way can they raise their confidence in the Qing dynasty. On the other hand, there are too many voices questioning him in the court. Even the queen mother has some complaints about him. The dirty water Yang Yi had thrown at him before had been very effective in the situation where he was constantly failing. There were even voices asking him to abdicate and give the throne to the prince. This was unbearable for him. He now urgently needed a victory to deter those evil thoughts and to take back all the lost cities. Qianlong said lightly, You don't have to persuade me anymore. I will definitely fight with the great Zhou with real swords and guns. Fu Chi Fuang sighed, But your majesty, the explosives of the Zhou kingdom are very powerful. If you are not careful, your life will be in danger. Qianlong snorted coldly, Although their explosives are powerful, they are not convenient to use flexibly, otherwise Yang Yi would not have asked people to carry explosives to act as dead soldiers. As long as I keep a distance from them, I will definitely have a chance to defeat them. They have no other specialties besides explosives. You didn't see that they fought several wars with my great Zhou, and there was nothing outstanding at all. I grew up on horseback and traveled all over the country. I am a top-notch rider and archer. I have fought many wars and have almost never been defeated. This time will be no exception. Great Joe.
Yang Cheng, you hurriedly invited me here just to see the fields you planted. Wu Zhao looked at the farmland in front of her in some astonishment. Her cold and noble face showed a trace of helplessness. Yang Yi was dressed in a purple official robe, which made him look more handsome. He smiled. Your Majesty, the fields here are not simple. This farmland is contracted by this humble minister and asked to be planted. Her Majesty glanced at Yang Yi with a little strangeness. When did you start to like farming? The first poisoner of the great Zhou likes farming. This is full of disobedience no matter how you look at it. Yang Yi's mouth twitched. He walked to the side of the farmland and squatted down. Your Majesty, this has nothing to do with whether this humble minister likes farming or not. The farmland here is planted with sweet potatoes and corn. These two crops are cold-resistant and drought-resistant and have high yields, and can be used as staple food. Quote, Your Majesty, look, I can get at least nearly 1,000 kilograms of sweet potatoes and corn from this acre of land. 1,000 kilograms, Sheng Wan Waner, who was following beside her, was stunned. Wu Yan was not much better. She was a little dumbfounded. Yang Cheng, are you kidding me? She felt like a storm in her heart. Looking at all the countries, no country said that it could produce 1,000 kilograms per acre. Even the richest Song dynasty could not reach this number of grain production. Yang Yi smiled. If your majesty does not believe it, these sweet potatoes and corn are ripe. Let the tenants pick them all and weigh them and you will know. Wu Yan stared and nodded impatiently. For her, if there is food that can produce 1,000 kilograms per acre, it is really a godsend. Two hours later, reporting to Lord Yang, sweet potatoes are about 1,060 kilograms. Corn is 968 kilograms. Quote, a tenant said respectfully to Yang Yi. Yang Yi raised his eyebrows. I know. Quote, you have taken good care of me. I will reward you handsomely later. You can go down first. Yes, sir. The tenants beside him left happily. Yang Yi turned around and smiled at the shocked empress. Your Majesty, what I said is right. Quote, sweet potatoes and corn are high-yield crops. As long as they are used properly, they can produce 1,000 kilograms per mu. If this thing is popularized, drought in my great Zhou will not be so difficult in the future. Wu Zhao suppressed her inner shock. Excitement flashed in her phoenix eyes. I will let the people in the Ministry of Revenue handle this matter immediately. Sweet potatoes and corn are really too important. Quote. Yang Yi nodded with a smile. With these sweet potatoes and corn, so many people will not starve to death during famine. Just then, a sound of horse hooves sounded. A carriage appeared in everyone's sight and then slowly stopped beside them. Zhang Zhangji opened the curtain and jumped off the carriage. He hurriedly said, your Majesty, Qianlong has led the army in person. Wu Zhao was startled. She was a little stunned. Leading the army in person. Wu Zhao pondered for a moment. Let's go back to the palace. Qianyuan Hall. Your Majesty. Wei Yuanzhang presented the memorial in his hand. This is the intelligence of the scouts. I heard that Qianlong has reorganized nearly 500,000 soldiers and horses, all of whom are elite soldiers in the army. This time he wants to declare war on my great Zhou. The purpose should be to regain the lost territory of the Qing dynasty. Wu Zetian nodded slightly, took the secret letter and looked at it for a few times, then said in deep thought. This guy is really arrogant. Tell Haiki Chong my order. I will give him another 100,000 troops, and he must defend the territory. The ministers also nodded one after another, without any worry in their eyes. They were also confident after these wars against the Qing dynasty. As long as there is explosives, why fear Amir Emperor Qianlong? After Wu Zetian arranged the next deployment of troops, she smiled at Yang Yi and said to everyone, Yang Qing has discovered a kind of food that can produce 1,000 caddies per mu. You will go with me tomorrow to see it. 1,000 caddies per mu. Everyone took a breath and looked at Yang Yi in shock. One month later, Da Zhou, Lo Yang. At this time, the weather was already quite cold, and most people had already put on thick clothes. Hey, do you know sweet potatoes and corn? Of course I know. I heard that these are the crops that His Majesty asked to plant. Quote. The, Da Zhou Bao, said that sweet potatoes and corn can produce 1,000 kilograms per mu. Is it true? I don't know. Who knows? We only have a small piece of land. If we plant sweet potatoes and corn, we can plant other things. 
Hey, I heard from the government that planting sweet potatoes and corn next year can reduce taxes. Hiss, if taxes can be reduced, then I will also plant one. After a month of publicity, most people already know about sweet potatoes and corn. Although many people doubt that sweet potatoes and corn can produce 1,000 kg per mu, there are also many people who are willing to plant sweet potatoes and corn for the tax reduction policy of the court. The people hesitated a little, which was within the expectations of the empress. After all, the crops planted are what the people rely on for survival. How can you just plant something else? So the court issued a policy of tax reduction for planting sweet potatoes and corn to increase the enthusiasm of the people to plant. This policy is obviously quite effective, and the people of Luoyang are discussing this matter. On the busy streets of Luoyang, a fast horse galloped past. The people next to him were quite surprised. What's going on? It looks like a war horse on the front line. Yes, is there something wrong at the front? Qianyuan Hall. Your Majesty, the weather is getting colder, and many people have been infected with smallpox. In Luoyang in the past month, nearly 10 smallpox corpses have been found, and there will be many people who died of smallpox in other places. Xu Jingzong's eyebrows were almost frozen together, and his face was a little ugly. Wu Zhao frowned slightly. This year's smallpox seems to be a bit serious. The ministers looked sympathetic. Smallpox has always been a disease that no matter which country or status, as long as it is infected, it can only rely on God's will, and doctors can't cure it at all. Even though she was the emperor of the Great Zhou, it was difficult for her to fight against smallpox. As an emperor, she knew the terrible power of smallpox. Every time smallpox broke out, the number of deaths was counted in the hundreds of thousands, and in more serious cases, it could even affect millions of people. She rubbed her eyebrows with her white and tender fingers. The Great Zhou has been hit by natural disasters in the past two years. She subconsciously glanced at Yang Yi, who was at the forefront of the officials, and saw Yang Yi frowning in thought. Wu Zhao opened her mouth and fell silent. She didn't know when she started to rely on Yang Yi for advice. She just subconsciously wanted to ask Yang Yi if there was a way to solve the problem of smallpox. But she quickly remembered. Yang Yi was indeed a rare talent in a century. But he is not a doctor. This is smallpox, an epidemic. Solving smallpox is something that doctors should consider. No matter how powerful Yang Yi is, he is not a doctor, and he has not even read a medical book. Asking him to find a way to solve smallpox is really asking too much. Besides, smallpox has been unsolved since ancient times, no matter how great a doctor there is. Her Majesty the Empress was silent for a while, and then said. Smallpox is spreading widely, and local officials should take action immediately. Let them build an isolation area, at least to isolate all the infected people before the scope of infection expands. The ministers nodded helplessly. This is also the basic operation of dealing with smallpox in all dynasties. Smallpox cannot be cured, which is common sense known to everyone. So after getting smallpox, in order to prevent infection, you can only be isolated first, and then you can only leave it to fate. Just then, a burst of hurried footsteps sounded. Your Majesty, urgent news from the front line. A dusty cavalryman rushed in breathlessly and said respectfully. Everyone was stunned and a little stunned. What happened on the front line? Shang Wan Waner on the side quickly took the secret letter and presented it to the Empress. Wu Zhao opened it and looked at it for a few times. Her eyebrows gradually tightened and her face became ugly. After a while, she closed the secret letter and said in a deep voice, The front line has suffered several defeats. Now the situation is not favorable to our great Zhou. Everyone was stunned and a little shocked. Unfavorable. Xu Jingzong said quickly, Your Majesty, how could this be? Our army has explosives in hand. Even if the troops are not as strong as the enemy, we can at least defend. Everyone nodded. Wu Zhao pondered. Although our army has explosives, they are not flexible enough. We must tie people to explosives and die with the enemy in order to blow them up. This time, the Qing army came up with a solution. They took out a kind of vehicle and put a long spear that was 10 feet long on it as a shield to resist all the charging soldiers. In this way, even if the front row was blown to death, the people behind were safe. With the vehicle and the spear blocking, our soldiers could not rush through. Everyone looked ugly. 
They didn't expect the Qing army to come up with a solution so quickly. Wu Zhao sighed and looked at Yang Yi. Yang Yi met her gaze and smiled slightly. It's not surprising that the Qing army has a solution. Although using the self-detonation of the soldiers is an excellent strategy, it is only appropriate when the enemy is caught off guard. Now that the enemy is prepared, it may be difficult to blow up the enemy. Quote. Besides, our soldiers can't stand unlimited consumption. Every time we use explosives, we have to select a large number of dead soldiers, which is extremely depleting for our army. Therefore, the strategy of self-destruction is only suitable for wearing. There was silence in the hall. Everyone nodded subconsciously. As the proposer of the strategy, Yang Yi obviously knew the disadvantages clearly. Xu Jingzong said in a deep voice, What should we do now that the enemy is prepared? In terms of military strength, we are not opponents. Qianlong personally led the expedition, and he must have brought the elite of the whole country. Everyone looked solemn. After all, their great Zhou is a small country. Unlike the Qing dynasty, which lost nearly half of its troops and could mobilize a large number of elites. When explosives don't work, it's difficult for them to widen the gap with the big countries. Wu Zhao looked at Yang Yi and said subconsciously, 135 BP. Yang Yi's upright posture made her feel at ease, and the anxiety in her heart was reduced for no reason. Yang Yi smiled slightly and said seriously, Your Majesty, I have a plan that can kill the enemy thousands of miles away without any effort. Even destroying the Qing dynasty in one battle is not a problem. But this plan is too damaging to the harmony of heaven and people. The hall suddenly became quiet. Although it was freezing cold outside, the stove was burning inside the hall, which should have been warm as spring. However, everyone seemed to feel the piercing cold. They all looked at Yang Yi in amazement. They knew something about this first poisoner of the great Zhou dynasty. Yang Yi had offered many poisonous schemes before but at most he would say that it hurt people. Even so, many of his poisonous schemes made their scalps tingle. But this time, he actually said, too hurtful to the harmony of heaven. Too hurtful to people. How poisonous would this scheme be? Everyone felt a tremor for no reason. Shang Wan Waner pursed her lips and looked at Yang Yi in surprise. If Yang Yi could say that it hurt the harmony of heaven and people, then this scheme must be vicious and insidious to the core. Wu Zhao was silent for a while. She said slowly. This is probably the last fight of the Qing Kingdom. As long as we win, the previous losses can be ignored. But if we lose, they will not let us go. Yang Qing, what is your plan? Just tell me. Although she may know that Yang Yi's plan is extremely cruel, she can never accept that the Great Zhou, which has just expanded its territory, will lose all these territories and even the Great Zhou will be under a fatal threat. Everyone's eyes fell on Yang Yi. Xu Jingzong, Wei Yuanzhong and others subconsciously frowned and their faces became serious. The plan that can make Yang Yi so cautious is definitely not simple. Yang Yi met the eyes of the crowd and couldn't help but smile. You don't have to be so nervous. This plan is used on the enemy, not on us. Everyone looked strange. It's because your vicious plan is too vicious and, 623, making them sweat profusely. Yang Yi immediately bowed to the empress. My humble minister's plan is just to borrow the smallpox. Everyone was stunned, a little stunned. Smallpox. Wu Yan's eyes were slightly solemn. You want to use the smallpox? Yang Yi smiled faintly. The enemy's strength is far greater than ours. Unless we completely surrender the engulfed city, we will always be harassed by the enemy. And now there is a permanent solution. Our army can collect the pox fluid from patients infected with smallpox, smear it on weapons and arrows, and send smallpox to the enemy army when fighting with the enemy. In this way, after the enemy is infected with smallpox, they will not be our opponents at all. In fact, without our army's action, their hundreds of thousands of troops may be wiped out by smallpox. His simple words made the whole hall so quiet that even a pin drop could be heard. Everyone present looked at Yang Yi in amazement, as if they were looking at a madman. Although they vaguely guessed Yang Yi's intention when he said he wanted to borrow smallpox. But they never thought that Yang Yi would. Yang Yi actually wanted to do this. This is smallpox. Since ancient times, smallpox is a terminal disease and it is impossible to cure it. Ordinary people should stay as far away from this horrible epidemic as possible. 
This Yang Yi actually wanted to use smallpox to deal with the Qing army. Crazy. Must be crazy. Wu Zhao was dumbfounded, her rosy lips slightly opened, almost unable to close. She never expected that Yang Yi would come up with such a plan. Even though she had prepared herself mentally, she was still horrified and trembling in her heart. Shang Wan Waner on the side was also confused. The whole hall fell into a strange silence. After a while, Zhang Zhangji swallowed his saliva. Minister Yang, this smallpox is extremely contagious. If our army smears the smallpox fluid on weapons, our soldiers will also be infected. The others nodded. This trick, kill 1,000 enemies, but lose 800 of our own. Wu Zhao was silent for a moment. Mr. Yang, isn't this a huge loss for our soldiers? Yang Yi raised his eyebrows. Your Majesty, if I have a way to make our soldiers unable to get smallpox anyway. What? The eyes of the people present almost popped out in shock. No matter what, they can't get smallpox. If someone else said this, they might point their noses and curse. It happened that it was Yang Yi who said this. But, smallpox has never been solved since it appeared. Now Yang Yi suddenly said that it can be prevented and 100% uninfected. Everyone in the hall looked at each other. After a while, Wei Yu and Zhang couldn't help but stroke his beard and pondered. Minister Yang, I also know that you are doing this for the foundation of the Great Zhou Dynasty. However, smallpox has been rampant since its appearance and has never been cured or prevented. Even the most powerful doctors have fallen under the smallpox epidemic. The smallpox epidemic is of great importance. Once it is not well controlled, it is very likely to cause unpredictable consequences. You said it can be prevented, is it true? Xu Jingzong and others also nodded slightly. It's not that they don't trust Yang Yi, but smallpox has been a thing that no one has been able to solve for so many years. Smallpox is almost equal to death. Yang Yi smiled slightly. Don't worry, Lord Wei. I never do anything I'm not sure of. Quote, no one could solve smallpox before, because they didn't meet me. Now that I'm here, the smallpox epidemic will naturally be solved. Everyone in the hall was shocked, and they were all shocked by the arrogance in Yang Yi's words. A trace of shock flashed in Wu Zhao's phoenix eyes. She pondered for a moment. Yang Qing, what is the method you said to prevent smallpox? Yang Yi smiled slightly. I wonder if you have ever discovered that as long as people who have been infected with smallpox and survived will never be infected with smallpox again. Everyone was stunned and thought about it. Xu Jingzong nodded slightly. He nodded immediately. Ten years ago, there was an outbreak of smallpox in my great Zhou. I was responsible for it. Yang Shijong is right. People who survived smallpox will basically never get it again. Yang Yi said seriously, that's it. After smallpox invades our body, our body will also produce something to resist smallpox. It's just that smallpox is too toxic, so many people can't stand it and die. After resisting it, they will never get smallpox again. My method is to infect ourselves with a milder cowpox venom. In this way, as long as the body produces something to resist, we will never get smallpox again. Everyone looked at each other. What Yang Yi said seemed to make sense. However, no one dared to try it. This smallpox can't be cured once it is infected. With such a terminal illness, no one dared to be careless. Wu Zhao thought for a while. Yang Qing's words make sense. Yang Yi smiled. We can find some death row prisoners to try my cowpox method and we'll know. Everyone was stunned and looked at Yang Yi strangely. This guy is the nemesis of death row prisoners. It is bad luck for prisoners to meet you. The next day. In front of all the civil and military officials, Yang Yi had the prisoners injected with smallpox fluid using the method of vaccination. Half a month later, in the palace, Your Majesty, Xu Jingzong, who was old, rushed in breathlessly, Your Majesty, those prisoners who were vaccinated with smallpox have now recovered their spirits and are full of energy. Even living with smallpox patients, there is no sign of infection. What? Everyone in the palace took a breath and showed a look of celebration. They didn't expect that Yang Yi's method of vaccination with smallpox was really successful. This is smallpox that has not been solved for thousands of years. They stared at Yang Yi in astonishment. This is simply amazing. Wu Zetian excitedly grasped the edge of the dragon throne, and her phoenix eyes were full of surprise. Yang Qing, it succeeded. 
Even with her calm personality, she couldn't help but get a little excited at this time. This is a terrible smallpox epidemic. It was actually solved by her great Joe. She looked at Yang Yi with a hint of admiration. This minister is simply omnipotent. Yang Yi smiled slightly. Your Majesty, since the method of vaccination has been proven to be feasible, then it is time to use my strategy to deal with the Qing dynasty. Everyone was stunned, and then they remembered Yang Yi's inhumane strategy, and their scalps suddenly tingled. Wu Zhao nodded hesitantly. Although it is a bit cruel, who made them enemies? Yang Yi smiled. Not bad. It can only be blamed on them being people of the Qing dynasty. Let's collect more smallpox fluid and then vaccinate our soldiers. When they are completely protected from smallpox, we can bring the smallpox fluid to the battlefield and give it to the enemy. Everyone heard this, and they couldn't help but feel a chill even in the warm palace. This group of enemies is in trouble for getting involved with Yang Yi. This strategy is too vicious. Zhang Zhangji suddenly said, Minister Yang, will this smallpox be spread to the Qing dynasty by these soldiers and infect the people? The hall suddenly became quiet. Everyone had a complicated look on their faces. This smallpox is highly contagious, and it is very likely to be transmitted to the people. Yang Yi smiled slightly. Of course it will be transmitted to the people of the Qing dynasty. Quote, the Qing army is part of the strategy to infect the people of the Qing dynasty. Wouldn't it be better if they were infected? As long as the people of the Qing dynasty are willing to surrender to our great Zhou with their cities, we can vaccinate them with cowpox to prevent smallpox. As long as the Qing army soldiers are everywhere, we will have the opportunity to capture most of the cities of the Qing dynasty and even reach the capital in one step. If you don't want to surrender, let these stubborn people who are loyal to the Qing dynasty be taken away by smallpox. As for the death and injury of hundreds of thousands or millions of people, what does it have to do with us? In the hall, everyone's scalp was numb. A chill rushed straight up from the soles of their feet to the top of their heads. They stared at Yang Yi in amazement, with awe on their faces. This Yang Shijong is really the king of hell. Once smallpox spreads in Qing, at least hundreds of thousands of people will be infected, and in serious cases, millions of people may be infected. No wonder Yang Yi said that this strategy is too harmful to the harmony of nature. This is simply cruel and inhumane. After all, smallpox doesn't care whether you are a good person or a bad person. As long as you are infected, you will be killed. No one else can talk about such a cruel strategy so casually, except for the first poisoner of the Great Zhou. Cheng Chong, General Black Tooth, urgent report from the court. A soldier hurried in and said respectfully. Hei Cheng Ji nodded slightly. He opened the urgent report with a little fatigue, took a few glances, and suddenly shuddered. All the fatigue just now disappeared. His copper bell-like eyes were wide open. Guo Jingji next to him asked curiously. General, what's wrong? Hei Kai Chengji smiled bitterly. That Yang Shijong gave us a vicious plan to destroy the Qing dynasty. The generals were stunned and looked at each other. It was the plan of that poisonous scholar again. Guo Jingji blinked. Prime Minister Yang's plan is a bit vicious, but it works. Quote. General, tell me what's your plan? Haiki Chengji looked at Guo Jingji strangely. This guy is more than just vicious. He is totally inhumane. He was silent for a while, then said. Smallpox broke out in Luoyang. Yang Shijong asked people to bring smallpox fluid. Let's apply the smallpox fluid on our weapons and then pass it to the enemy secretly. Silence. The scene was suddenly terribly quiet. Guo Jingji gulped and swallowed. He felt a little numb. General Haiki, are you kidding me, Yang Shang? Once the smallpox fluid comes out, we and the enemy will all die. Everyone was horrified and nodded. Even though they were experienced generals, smallpox was so terrible that even the god of war couldn't stand it. This Yang Zhang's plan was too vicious. Haiki Chengji met everyone's gaze and said slowly, Prime Minister Yang has developed a successful method to prevent smallpox. As long as we are vaccinated, we will not get smallpox again. Hiss. The generals were dumbfounded when they heard this. Prevent smallpox. They were dizzy. Their prime minister Yang was too powerful. He could even prevent smallpox. Guo Jingji breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. As long as it can prevent smallpox, it's fine. Quote. Although the strategy is a bit vicious, the strategy against the enemy should be done to the extreme. 
The generals nodded one after another. Haiki Chengji had a strange look on his face. He glanced at Guo Jingji. Prime Minister Yang said that if the enemy retreats and infects the people of Qing, unless the people of Qing surrender, our army will never vaccinate the people of Qing and let smallpox rage. Silence. The generals were horrified when they heard this. They just remembered. Smallpox is too contagious. Once the Qing army is infected, the Qing people will definitely be infected. Yang Yi's strategy of using smallpox to kill hundreds of thousands of enemy troops is cruel enough. I didn't expect that he would use smallpox to force the enemy people to surrender. In this way, they can take down the enemy's city without much effort. It is even possible to directly attack the enemy's capital. This is too cruel. Even though their hands are stained with countless blood, they can't help but feel numb and their hair stand up. If they are not careful, it will be tens of millions of lives. It is worthy of being the first poisoner in the Great Zhou. The King of Hell has to give way to Prime Minister Yang. The real living King of Hell in the world. Tang Dynasty. Qianlong personally led the army this time, it seems that he is going all out. Li Shimin touched his chin, I heard that the Qing army has found a way to limit the Zhou Kingdom's death soldiers from self-destructing to the maximum extent. At present, the Qing Kingdom is in an advantageous position. The Zhou Kingdom is not in danger this time, and it is estimated that it will not last too long. What do you think, should I send someone to send a letter to Yang Yi at this time to invite him to join my Tang dynasty? It is just a small country, and he can't use his talents at all. Good birds choose trees to live in. If he knows what's good for him, I can use him. Cheng Sun Wuji and others looked at each other. They didn't expect Li Shimin to want to poach people at this time. Fang Xuanling stroked his beard, and a complicated expression appeared on his face. Your Majesty, this first poisoner of the Great Zhou should not betray their Empress so easily. After all, he was promoted to his current position by the Empress. Quote, Cheng Sun Wuji said hurriedly, Yes, Your Majesty, and Yang Yi is a vicious scholar with a treacherous mind. If he can betray his Zhou kingdom today, he can betray our Tang dynasty in the future. Please Tui. Yang Yi's talent is too great. If he really comes to the Tang dynasty, how can they have a chance to make merit? There are only so many official positions, and they are not enough for themselves. Li Shimin said with some regret, that's right. This is the first time I have seen such a genius. It's a pity that he is not in the Tang dynasty. It's a waste to be in a small country. But if he died in the hands of Qianlong, I can accept it. Quote. The ministers nodded. Even if Yang Yi is useless, he cannot fall into the hands of others. Ming dynasty. Father, the Qing dynasty has mobilized all its forces and has the upper hand. It seems that Qianlong will fight to the death with Zhou dynasty this time. Zhu Biao pondered. Zhu Yuanzhong chuckled. That's the best. We will watch the fire from the other side of the river. Once Zhou Dynasty can't hold on, we will let Lan Yu lead people to Zhou Dynasty to compete with Qianlong for territory. This wave of fat meat is a waste if we don't eat it. Zhu Biao was stunned. He didn't expect that his father had already made plans. Dokken, Your Majesty, Qianlong has taken out the family property of Qing Dynasty and is determined to take Zhou Dynasty. Should I, Dokken, also send troops to Zhou Dynasty at this time to get a share of the pie? Li Si said in a deep voice. Ying Zheng was silent for a moment and said slowly. Wait a little longer. Although Zhou Dynasty is at a disadvantage now, I don't believe that Yang Yi will be helpless. Li Si was speechless and said yes on the surface. But he didn't agree in his heart. Anyone with a discerning eye could see that the Qing Kingdom would definitely deal a heavy blow to the Zhou Kingdom this time. Even their specialty, explosives, were restrained, so how could they turn the tables? The lower party was too confident. According to his idea, he should send troops quickly. The snipe and the clam quarreled, but the fishermen gained. Finally, it was important to divide up a wave of Zhou Kingdom's territory. Half a month later, the Qing army camp, Fu Cha Fu Heng said respectfully. Reporting to your majesty, the Qing army has been staying in the city for the past half month. It must be because they are afraid of the strength of our army. Qianlong wore a golden soft armor, looking elegant and luxurious. He stroked his beard and sneered. What did I say? These Zhou Kingdom's troops are not as strong as our Qing Kingdom. 
As long as we find a way to separate their explosives, they will have no way to deal with us. Now that our Qing kingdom has the upper hand, the enemy army has been retreating step by step. It won't take long to break the city. Quote, Fu Fuang beside him said respectfully, Your majesty is a man of great talent and strategy, and I admire you. Qianlong laughed, and the haze of these days because of Yang Yi's calculations disappeared. He touched his chin, his eyes full of coldness. I will definitely severely dampen the spirit of the Zhou Kingdom this time and let them know how powerful my Qing Kingdom is. Quote, it's a pity that Yang Yi didn't come to the front line, otherwise I would definitely torture him. His tone was full of resentment and anger. Currently, Yang Yi has ranked first among the people he hates the most in his life. This Yang Yi has plotted against him again and again, and he wishes he could grind him to ashes. XB, a soldier walked in breathlessly. Your Majesty, five miles away from our military camp, there are traces of the Zhou army. In the tent, the atmosphere suddenly changed. Qianlong narrowed his eyes and sneered. Dare to take the initiative to attack my Qing country. These Zhou people have been cowards for half a month, and suddenly they turn sideways. Well, let them know how powerful the Qing cavalry is. Fu Hang, pass on my order, immediately mobilize the three armies and prepare to meet the enemy. Fu Cha Fu Hang said respectfully, Yes, your majesty. Quote, Five miles away from the Qing army camp. General, the Qing army has discovered our tracks and is heading towards us. They are less than a mile away from us now. A scout said respectfully. Haiki Changji's face was cold. He touched the scab on his arm. They had been vaccinating against cowpox for the past half month. He said in a deep voice. Pass my order, shoot immediately. Guo Jingji said immediately. Yes, general. A moment later. The Qing army was about to approach the Zhou army. Rounds of arrows rained down. Qianlong sneered. Raise your shields. The Qing soldiers raised their shields and formed a formation under the order. A round of arrows only injured some people. Qianlong sneered. This group of Zhou people actually tried to sneak attack our army in this way. It's really a desperate move, ridiculous, ridiculous. At this time, the shouting and killing stopped in the distance. Qianlong frowned his eyes full of murderous intent. You came just in time, Fuang, let them know how powerful our Qing cavalry is. Fu Chi Fuang said loudly, Yes, your majesty. Quote, then, he immediately led a light cavalry to charge at the Zhou army. After a stick of incense, Fu Chi Fuang returned to Qianlong with a strange look on his face. Qianlong was stunned. Solved, Fu Chi Fuang smiled bitterly. This group of Zhou soldiers are very cunning. They buried some traps on the ground, injured some of our soldiers, and then fought with us for a while and suddenly. Withdrawn, Qianlong's eyes widened, his face was stunned, and he was speechless for a long time. It was the first time I saw a war like this. This horse ran away after fighting for a while. He gritted his teeth, feeling a little aggrieved. Don't pay attention to it. Quote, let's go back to the camp. Quote, the rest of the soldiers responded respectfully. Two hours later, night fell, the cold wind was biting, quite cold. Qianlong had already gone to bed to rest with the help of two maids. Under normal circumstances, women were not allowed to be brought into the military camp. But who made him the emperor? Qianlong had just fallen asleep for a while. There was a sudden shout of killing outside. Qianlong was startled and got up quickly. Oh no, there is an enemy attack. He put on his clothes in a hurry and walked out of the tent. Your Majesty, the Zhou people attacked our army at night. Fu Cha Fu Hang ran over with a serious face. Qianlong was furious. What a bunch of rats who are deliberately making a mystery. Where is the Iron Buddha? Immediately mobilize the troops and encircle them. He ran over to attack at night in the middle of the night, and he was so upset. Fu Cha Fu Hang said in a deep voice, Yes, Your Majesty. Half an hour later, Your Majesty, the Zhou army ran away again. Fu Chi Fuang ran over breathlessly. Qianlong ran away again. Are these Zhou army here to discuss them? He took a breath, holding his breath in his chest, and said viciously. Return to the camp. In the next few days, the army of the great Zhou repeatedly harassed the Qing army. However, every time Qianlong wanted to fight the great Zhou army head on, the Zhou army quickly retreated. After repeating this several times, Qianlong was furious. 
The Qing army camp. Bang. Asshole. Asshole. Qianlong's eyes were red with anger. What do these people want to do? Just to disgust me. Everyone in the tent looked at each other. They actually didn't understand why the Zhou army did this. After all, doing this would not damage their vitality at all. It was meaningless except wasting time. Fu Chi Fuang frowned and thought. He always felt that Zhou would not do such a meaningless thing. This was inconsistent with Zhou's previous style. Just then, a hurried footsteps sounded. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, it's not good. A general hurriedly ran in, his forehead full of sweat, he looked at Qianlong in horror, panting. Everyone in the tent was stunned, looking at the newcomer with some confusion. Qianlong was quite calm. He glared at the man. Flustered, what happened? Is it the Zhou army that is coming again? The general swallowed his saliva and said hurriedly. Your Majesty, it's not the Zhou army that's attacking us, but someone in our army has been infected with smallpox. The tent was suddenly quiet. Qianlong's eyes widened, and he said in disbelief. What? Smallpox? There was a hint of fear in his tone. This is smallpox. Even if my grandfather had been infected with smallpox, he could only leave it to fate. Although he was lucky enough to survive in the end, he was left with a face full of pockmarks. The soldiers took a breath, their eyes full of shock and fear. Even the emperor could only rely on luck when facing smallpox. Smallpox doesn't care whether you are a noble or a commoner. As long as you are infected, there is a great possibility of death. For a while, an atmosphere of fear spread in the tent. After a while, Fu Cha Fu Heng calmed down a little. Your Majesty, let's go and see how serious the situation is. Qianlong calmed down at this time. His eyes twitched and he gritted his teeth. Let's go and have a look. It's not that he is timid, but the pockmarks on his grandfather's body have left him with a huge shadow. If he gets infected with smallpox, he will be finished. If he is not careful, he will die here. After a stick of incense, Qianlong appeared in a tent with the Qing soldiers. This tent was separated. Qianlong stood outside, listening to the painful groans coming from the tent not far away, and his calves trembled. At this time, a military doctor came out and said hurriedly, your Majesty, Qianlong held the last glimmer of hope. How is it? Are you sure it is smallpox? Is it possible to have other diseases? It's just that the symptoms are similar. The military doctor smiled bitterly. Your Majesty, I have been practicing medicine all my life, and I will never make a mistake. The wounded inside have fever, headache, back pain, fatigue, and some have even developed blisters and pustules. This is typical smallpox. Silence. Everyone on the field was silent. Qianlong's face twitched. He gritted his teeth. First isolate these people, no one is allowed to touch them. The soldiers beside him said, Yes, your majesty. The next day, it was just dawn. Qianlong was sleeping a little dazed. Suddenly, a burst of rapid shouting sounded, waking him up. Qianlong looked unhappy. The footsteps were getting closer and closer. Your majesty. Fu Chi Fuang rushed into the tent, looking nervous. Qianlong held back his impatience, what's wrong? Fu Cha Fu Heng didn't care about losing his composure, and his forehead was covered with cold sweat. Nearly 200 people have been infected with smallpox again. What? Qianlong's sleepiness suddenly disappeared, and he was so shocked that he could hardly speak. Another person has been infected with smallpox. He gritted his teeth and said, quick, take them away quickly. Fu Cha Fu Heng smiled bitterly. We have separated them at the first time, but now, what should these people do? Qianlong was upset at this time, and couldn't help but say coldly. What should they do? What else can they do except leave it to fate? Go and check immediately. What exactly did they come into contact with? How could so many people be infected with smallpox? In a closed and dense place like the army, it is generally impossible to get infected. Infected with smallpox but once infected, it is highly contagious. If too many people in his army are infected, it will be the end. Qianlong's face was extremely ugly, and he couldn't help but slap the table. Half a day later, the Zhou army attacked again. Qianlong was furious. These Zhou people were really annoying. When he led his army to besiege the Zhou people, the Zhou people ran away again. Another half a month passed. The Qing army camp was miserable. Your Majesty, the number of people infected with smallpox in our army is rising every day. 
Now there are more than 36,000 people infected with smallpox. I am afraid that it will not be long before this number will double again. Quote, Fucha Fuang's face turned pale. The soldiers in the tent were also trembling. They didn't expect the smallpox to spread so quickly. If this goes on, will we the Ma still have the heart to fight? Not to mention these soldiers, even Qianlong didn't want to stay here any longer. Who knows when he will suddenly be infected? He is the emperor, can his fate be the same as those of ordinary soldiers? Qianlong rubbed his eyebrows, trying to calm himself down, his tone full of anger. Every time smallpox is discovered, people are immediately isolated. But even so, the number of infected people is increasing. Why is this? Fucha Fuang next to him suddenly asked in confusion. Your Majesty, our army has never come into contact with anyone or anything since we set out until now. Except for fighting with the Zhou army, wait. He said in astonishment. Your Majesty, could it be that these Zhou soldiers infected us? Quiet. The soldiers in the tent were shocked. Yes, they were fine at the beginning, and the soldiers were fine. Since those Zhou soldiers retreated for half a month and started fighting with them, they have smallpox here. Qianlong's eyes suddenly widened, his hands tightly grasped the edge of the chair, and his chest rose and fell rapidly. These Zhou people have been fighting with our army for a while every time they fought with us. Could it be just to infect us with smallpox? Hiss. The soldiers took a breath of cold air, their faces full of horror. If this is true, then these great Zhou soldiers are really too vicious. The more Qianlong thought about it, the more likely it was. Who did they infect with smallpox in this wilderness? His face was ashen. It must be so. It must be a trick used by Yang Yi. No one else can do such a thing except him. Fucha Fuang looked serious. Your Majesty, if the Zhou army infects us, aren't they afraid? Qianlong clenched his fists, not knowing how to answer for a moment. A personal soldier hurried in. Your Majesty, the Zhou people said they have a way to solve smallpox. As long as, Your Majesty leads the troops to surrender, they can help our army solve smallpox. Hiss. The soldiers gasped, their faces full of horror. It was really done by this group of Zhou people. Their scalps were numb, their hair stood up, and the bone-chilling coldness penetrated into their bones like a snake. This is too vicious. Qianlong clenched his fists tightly, his eyes were bloodshot, and the veins on his neck were exposed, as if he was going to bite someone. It's really Yang Yi's vicious plan. Chapter 71. Chengcheng. Guo Jingji scratched his head. General, this Qianlong will definitely not surrender. Why tell them about the smallpox that infected us? Haiki Chengji said in a deep voice. Of course he won't surrender. As for smallpox, in this wilderness, even if he has a pig's brain, he will guess that it was our doing sooner or later. Telling him now is forcing him to evacuate. There must be unexposed smallpox patients in their army. As long as they take them back, they will definitely turn the Qing dynasty upside down. Guo Jingji was stunned, and then he looked like he was leaving the country. His mouth opened wide. Quote dot 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 quote. General, when did you become as vicious as Yang Shang? Ah, what I mean is that your style is becoming more and more similar to Yang Zhang's. Guo Jingji scratched his head awkwardly. Haiki Chengji was speechless. He glared at Guo Jingji unhappily. This is what Yang Shang had already told him in the letter. After all, Yang Zhang's target is not just the Qing army. The generals and soldiers were stunned. As expected of that poisonous scholar. This idea is not only vicious, but also very thorough. Guo Jingji swallowed his saliva and was dumbfounded. Yang Shang had expected this a long time ago. As expected of Yang Shang, Ji Kuo is too vicious. Does Yang Shang have any other instructions? Haiki Chengji glanced at Guo Jingji and the people who were watching eagerly. Yang Shang also said that if Qianlong escaped, he would definitely abandon all the captives infected with smallpox. We can take these people away and send them to the city of Qing. Quote, the Qing people will definitely not be on guard when they see their own soldiers. When they take these soldiers infected with smallpox into the city, they will find something wrong. Quote, At that time, we only need to wait until they are infected with smallpox, and we can easily capture the enemy city. The tent was extremely silent. Everyone was shocked and opened their mouths wide. This is too insidious and vicious. This is a waste of people infected with smallpox. 
use their own soldiers to deceive their own people, send the source of the virus in, and then wait for the other party to get smallpox. Guo Jingji swallowed his saliva and said in shock, Hi, it's really too high. If there is any humanity, it is not the style of Prime Minister Yang. Everyone nodded in agreement. Prince Yang's strategy is inhumane. Three days later, Qianlong made a prompt decision to evacuate with a large army. If they stayed here any longer, they would be killed by smallpox by the Zhou army sooner or later. As for those soldiers infected with smallpox, they were naturally ruthlessly abandoned. Half a month later, the capital, Qianlong rushed back to the palace with a tired face and dusty. He suffered a great loss this time. He almost lost his life on the front line. These Zhou people actually used smallpox, which was extremely vicious. Ten days later, the capital, your majesty, it's bad, smallpox has broken out in various places. The number of people infected with smallpox is increasing day by day, at least hundreds of thousands. And the enemy is aggressive, still marching towards my Qing dynasty, and has already captured six cities of my Qing dynasty. Fu Cha Fu Heng reported to Qianlong nervously about the situation in the past half month. What? Qianlong's eyes suddenly widened, and he said in disbelief, how could it be infected so quickly? In order to prevent the army from bringing smallpox back, he clearly stationed the army in the wilderness. Fu Cha Fu Heng hurriedly said, the Zhou people sent the soldiers infected with smallpox that we abandoned to our city. Those officials didn't know why and thought they were injured soldiers, so they took all these people into the city. As a result, it was too late when they found out that it was smallpox. Quote. Asshole. Asshole. Qianlong's eyes were red with anger. He never expected that these Zhou people were so vicious that they actually sent all the soldiers infected with smallpox to their city. Is this a plan that a human could come up with? Fu Chi Fuang swallowed his saliva and said hurriedly. Your Majesty, the smallpox epidemic is getting worse and worse, and many people are in a panic. The Zhou army has used their method of solving smallpox to deceive the people of several cities to surrender. If this continues, my Qing dynasty is in danger of extinction. Qianlong's blood vessels jumped on his forehead, and he gritted his teeth. These Zhou people are really fools. He was so upset that he was about to explode. He never expected that the other party actually mastered the method of inoculating cowpox. Now that the Zhou Kingdom is using the smallpox epidemic, he really has no way to deal with it. Qianlong suddenly felt a headache. He rubbed his eyebrows and said coldly, Notify all local governments immediately and do their best to prevent and treat smallpox. Also, call Nianyulu Alligan and let him lead his troops to stop Zhou's army. As long as we survive this time, my Qing dynasty. He hadn't finished the rest of his words. Suddenly, Qianlong felt dizzy, his eyes went black, and he fell down. Fu Cha Fuang beside him exclaimed, Your Majesty. A moment later, the imperial physician hurried over. After a stick of incense, the imperial physician's face turned pale. The emperor has been infected with smallpox. The people around him immediately made way in fear. Even Qianlong was infected. This is the end. Great Joe. Good news, another good news. Sheng Wan Waner was happy and handed the memorial in her hand. She was wearing a light white tulip palace skirt, looking cool and graceful. The Empress took the memorial, looked at it for a few times, and a smile flashed in her eyes. Well, now our army has taken six enemy cities in a row, and we are unstoppable. It seems that the destruction of Qing is just around the corner. She was wearing a light gold and blue brocade dragon robe, her full chest trembling, and it was obvious that she was also very motivated. Now her achievements have surpassed her father. Wu Zhao's white fingers tightly grasped the memorial and looked at Yang Yi on the side. The corners of her rosy lips curled up slightly. Your strategy has made great contributions. Now my great Zhou has nearly 20 cities of the Qing dynasty. Quote. Next, as long as we continue to fight step by step, the Qing dynasty will not be able to withstand it. Perhaps, my great Zhou can annex the Qing dynasty with the body of a small country. In that case, the territory of my great Zhou can at least expand three times. If that is true, I don't know how to reward you. How about I give Sanyang to you as my wife, just as a reward? She was obviously in a very good mood, otherwise she would not tease Yang Yi. Yang Yi coughed lightly. 
Is it too early for your majesty to say this now? Now that smallpox is everywhere in the Qing dynasty, it is a good opportunity for us to add insult to injury. Wu Zetian was stunned, with a little curiosity in her eyes. What are you going to do? Yang Yi smiled slightly. Of course, in the, Da Zhou Bao, write about the fact that Qianlong brought back the source of the smallpox epidemic. Let all the people of the Qing dynasty know that the reason why they are in dire straits now is because of Qianlong. Quote. Shang Wan Waner, Wu Zetian was stunned, with a look of astonishment on her face. This is to completely arouse the people's dissatisfaction with Qianlong. As long as the people of the Qing dynasty are dissatisfied with Qianlong, we have the opportunity to provoke conflicts between the people and the royal family. Yang Yi talked freely, an emperor who only does wrong things will not be liked by people. Qianlong has suffered another defeat. Now he may be dealing with the censors who condemn him every day. Wu Zetian was thoughtful. Qianlong has made the Qing dynasty angry and resented by the people. This is our opportunity. Quote. Yang Yi nodded slightly. T. Just then. Zhang Zhangji ran in hurriedly, panting. The latest news is that Qianlong has also been infected with smallpox. Everyone in the hall was stunned. Yang Yi clapped his hands and laughed. He deserves a short life. Your Majesty, I think that at this time, my great Zhou should allocate another army to attack the enemy's capital. With such a two-sided attack, the Qing dynasty will fall apart without a leader, only now. Wu Zhao's eyes lit up, nodded decisively, and said without hesitation. I will immediately allocate another army. Although the Great Zhou's military strength is not as good as that of the Qing dynasty, this moment is a rare opportunity. If it is grasped well, it may become a great country in the Central Plains. Three days later, Yang Yi recommended Dian Wei and led an army of 100,000 people to march towards the capital of the Qing dynasty. One month later, Dian Wei led his army to victory after victory, and attacked the capital of Qing dynasty. At this time, Haiki Chengji also joined him from another direction. The two armies surrounded the capital. The capital. Countless dignitaries hurriedly prepared to leave with large and small bags. The enemy had reached the city gate. If they didn't run, it would be too late. At this time, the officials of Qing dynasty were in a mess. The Golden Palace. On the dragon couch. Qianlong was barely breathing, with blisters and pustules all over his body, looking extremely scary. Fu Fuang and others on the side were all standing with masks, waiting for the emperor's will. Quote dot 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 dot. Pass the throne to the prince, and, in addition, I order Fuang to be the generalissimo of the army and horses to assist the prince in state affairs. Qianlong's eyes widened and his breathing became rapid. Fuang, you must defend the capital. Fu Fuang nodded quickly. Yes, your majesty. Qianlong nodded with difficulty. Then, as if he had thought of something, his face flushed, his eyes almost popped out, and the blisters all over his body were oozing pus. He clenched his fists and used up his last strength to stare at Fu Cha. You must kill Yang Yi in this life and bring his head to my tomb. Before he finished speaking, his breath dissipated and Qianlong died instantly. Wailing sounds suddenly sounded next to him. The next day, Fu Cha Fuang was ordered to take over the command of the imperial army and began to guard the capital. However, because Yang Yi revealed in the Da Zhou Bao that smallpox spread because of Qianlong, the reputation of the Qing royal family among the people suddenly fell to the bottom. Even at this time, facing the attack of the Zhou kingdom, many people were eager for the Zhou people to break in. At least, the Zhou people would really vaccinate them with cowpox. The royal dignitaries would only treat their lives as grass. Half a month later, the capital was broken. Although Fu Fuang had tried his best to resist, he was still no match for famous generals such as Dian Wei, Li Kunxiao, Xu Chu, and Haiki Chengji. They quickly led their troops into the capital of the Qing dynasty and surrounded the imperial palace. Great Zhou, Council Hall, Your Majesty. Great victory. Emperor Qianlong has passed away. Our army has already conquered the enemy's capital. A soldier, exhausted from all the hardships, rushed in, holding a memorial in his hand. There was a shock in the hall. Xu Jingzong and others were stunned. Although they had expected it, they were still speechless when they really conquered the enemy's capital. This is the Qing dynasty. After decades of recuperation, 
the army is strong and the economy is prosperous. They were defeated by their great Zhou. When I think of the scene when Qianlong arrogantly wanted to marry their empress and sent a letter to them, it seems to be vivid in my mind. Now, in just one year, the huge Qing dynasty has already fallen apart. And their great Zhou will absorb nutrients from the corpse of the Qing dynasty, rise slowly, and become the top power in the central plains. Everyone trembled in their hearts. They subconsciously looked at Yang Yi. This poisonous scholar has made great contributions. Although the plan is a bit vicious, it is really useful. The Empress's eyes flickered slightly. She took the memorial presented to her by Shangguan Wanner with some excitement, opened it, and read it carefully. After a while, Wu Zhao's rosy lips curled up. She held the memorial tightly. Good, good, well done. My great Zhou Wan. The Empress suppressed her inner joy and looked at everyone. Now my great good Li's Zhou has taken over the capital of Qing and half of its territory. Even if there are still remnants who want to resist, it is just a dying struggle. Xu Jingzong and others saluted. Congratulations, your majesty, long live your majesty. Wu Zhao's cold and noble face showed a smile, and then said. Haiki Chengji said in the memorial that although the enemy's capital had been broken, many of the Qing royal family members had escaped. Quote, they surrounded the palace, and there is only a seven-year-old girl in the palace. I can't bear it. What should I do? Everyone was stunned, and then reacted. The other royal family laughed a child who was powerless. This is not easy to deal with. If she is killed, it will be bad for the reputation of the empress. After all, she is just a young girl. If she is not killed, should she be brought back to raise? Your majesty should want to cut the grass and root it out, but it is not convenient to say it out loud. After all, the empress wants to be a benevolent and wise monarch. Is she going to use their mouths to say the words of cutting the grass and rooting out? Everyone tried to figure out what Her Majesty was thinking. Xu Jingzong stroked his beard and was about to speak. Suddenly, he heard Yang Yi said, Your Majesty, I think that since this child dares to expose himself, there must be someone hiding behind him. Pretend to let her go first, and then after our soldiers leave, come back secretly to see if she has brothers or sisters hiding in the secret passage, and then deal with them all, and then build a tomb for them, and send people to pretend to mourn for her for three years. If there are people who come to pay their respects, they must be the remnants of her accomplices. At that time, they will be wiped out together. The silence in the hall seemed to be audible. Everyone stared at Yang Yi in amazement, their scalps numb. This Yang Yi is really a living devil. The empress just asked how to deal with the young child, and Yang Yi directly expanded to build a tomb to lure those remnants. He is worthy of being the first poisonous scholar in the Great Zhou. This poisonous scheme is too deep. Who can prevent it? Even the empress was stunned, looking at Yang Yi in astonishment. She never expected that Yang Yi would come up with such a vicious plan in the blink of an eye. Shang Wan Wanner on the side was dumbfounded. Is Prime Minister Yang thinking of bad ideas every day? This dirty trick came out without thinking. Just when everyone's scalp was numb. Yang Yi said again. In addition, in addition to these remnants still hiding in the capital of Qing, those remnants that have already fled and the Qing royal family that are already outside must be eliminated, lest they grow stronger and oppose our great Zhou. Hiss. Everyone took a breath and looked at Yang Yi in a daze. Everyone was still immersed in the joy of the great Zhou's victory, but this guy started to calculate those remnants. Worthy of being a living devil. Xu Jingzong stroked his beard and frowned. Minister Yang, these remnants of the Qing dynasty disappeared too quickly. Besides, the world is so big that they can hide anywhere, but it's hard to find them. Everyone nodded. Everyone knows the way to eradicate the evil, but it's not easy to do it. Yang Yi said with a smile. Mr. Xu, this is wrong. If you ask me, this eradication is not only simple, but we don't need to use a single soldier. Ah, everyone was stunned. Isn't this Prime Minister Yang kidding them? Xu Jingzong stroked his beard and smiled. Minister Yang, don't make fun of me. How can we eradicate the evil without using a single soldier? It's impossible. Everyone nodded. Yes, how can we catch the evil without taking action? Do we expect the evil to come to us? Wu Zhao also looked at Yang Yi with some curiosity. Shang Wan Wanner on the side showed anticipation in her eyes. Yang Yi was confident and smiled. It's very simple, I have a plan. 
Most of the descendants of the Qing royal family will be recorded in the list by the clan at birth. These well-known Qing royal families are the remnants of my great Zhou. There are not many of these people, and only they can call on the Qing army to continue to resist my great Zhou. So, I think my great Zhou can issue a bounty order. Anyone in the world who captures a Xinweiluo and presents it to the great Zhou will be rewarded with 100 tails of gold. If it is Qianlong's brother, son or something like that, it will be 500 tails of gold each. Once this bounty order is issued, people all over the world will definitely move. Quote, as long as the descendants of the Qing royal family reveal some traces, they will inevitably be surrounded and killed by everyone. People die for money and birds die for food. Quote, these Qing royal family members can escape the pursuit of my great Zhou, can they also escape the pursuit of the world? Even if they can hide for a while, they will be exposed sooner or later. And maybe they don't have to wait for others. Their servants and subordinates may betray them one day. After all, the Exenweiluo is just a joke now. Without the cloak of power, not everyone can maintain their loyalty in front of hundreds of tales of gold. After Yang Yi's words fell, the hall was silent. Xu Jingzong was dumbfounded and stunned. Everyone seemed to be able to hear their own heartbeats. They swallowed subconsciously and looked at Yang Yi in shock, their scalps numb. It's too cruel. As you can imagine, once Yang Yi's bounty order is issued, people all over the world will probably scream with excitement. As long as you catch a member of the Qing royal family, you will get a guaranteed 100 tails of gold. For ordinary people, you have to work without food and drink for 20 years to earn this 100 tails of gold. And now, you only need to catch an eyes in Joro. Not to mention those ordinary people, even these officials are also in a hurry. By then, all the children of the Qing royal family will become walking gold. And once their identities are exposed, they will be surrounded by wolves eyeing them immediately. Yang Yi's plan is to make these eyes and Joro family no longer have a place to stand in the world. It's too cruel. These children of the Qing royal family not only had their country destroyed and were homeless, but they even had to live in the shadows for the rest of their lives, living in fear all day long, not daring to have the slightest chance of exposing their identities and they had to be alone. If they were reported by their servants, they would be finished. Everyone shuddered, feeling a chill running straight from the soles of their feet to the bottom of their hearts, making them shudder. This vicious plan is extremely simple, but it is really vicious. In the face of money, loyalty, kindness, and morality cannot stand the test. Human greed will send these Exenweiluo to a dead end. This Yang Shang is really a living devil in the world, because of the wolf poison. Wu Jiaofang's eyes flashed with a trace of surprise. She glanced at Yang Yi with some shock. Even though she had already adapted to Yang Yi's vicious plan, she was still shocked by Yang Yi's words. As Yang Yi said, as long as the bounty order of the Great Zhou was issued, they didn't need to do it themselves. Then the Qing royal family would be rushed up by those who coveted gold and torn to pieces. Shang Wan Waner's eyes were wide open, and her heart was full of admiration. These vicious plans look simple, but if you want to come up with them in a short time, you must have a keen insight into human nature. This Yang Shang, his control over human nature is simply extremely accurate. Wu Zhao took a deep breath, and her pretty face had regained its calm. She smiled at Yang Yi. I think Yang Qing's plan is feasible. The details of this bounty order will be drafted by Xu Qing's family. Xu Jingzong hurriedly said, Yes, your majesty. Three days later, the news of the fall of the Qing dynasty quickly swept across the central plains. And the bounty order of the great Zhou was also issued immediately. For a time, the whole world was in turmoil. Countless people who were moved by gold began to pay attention to the sneaky people around them. Those who were already bloodthirsty people in the green forest were even more excited to sharpen their knives. Ming Dynasty, Function Hall. The father and son looked at the information in front of them and looked at each other. For a long time, Zhu Biao spoke with some difficulty, his tone was full of unprecedented shock and even trembling. Dad, didn't you say that Zhou Kingdom couldn't hold on? How did Qing Kingdom let Zhou Kingdom destroy it? And, Zhou Kingdom actually mastered the solution to smallpox. Zhu Yuanzhong's weather-beaten face was also full of shock. This kid is simply a genius, no, a prodigy. A prodigy that only appears once in a thousand years. 
There was a smallpox disaster in the country, but he was not afraid. Instead, he was able to use the smallpox to destroy the enemy without hurting himself. A prodigy for all ages. I'm afraid that among all the counselors from ancient times to the present, Yang Yi can easily rank in the top three. Zhou Kingdom actually has such a famous minister, which is really enviable. Zhu Biao swallowed his saliva. Father, aren't you going to take advantage of the situation? There is still a small part of the territory of the Qing dynasty that has not been taken by the Zhou dynasty. Should we? Zhu Yuanzhang glared at him. Who is Yang Yi? How could he let these territories fall into the hands of others? Besides, the emperor is dead. The remaining officials and generals may declare themselves kings. If others want to seize his city, he will definitely fight to the death. If we send troops at this time, we will not only provoke Yang Yi, the living devil, but also fight with those old Qing dynasty veterans. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. This Yang Yi is so inhumane. He dares to use any vicious schemes. We should stay away from him and avoid provoking him if we can. By the way, B hour, CJBA, they have mastered the solution to smallpox. Let's send people to negotiate with them and see if we can get the solution to smallpox. Zhu Biao nodded repeatedly. Yes, father, Tang Dynasty. Incredible, simply incredible. Li Shimin was stunned, they actually used smallpox to destroy the Qing Dynasty. Yang Yi's strategy is too vicious. Cheng Sun Wuji and others nodded with lingering fear, their faces full of shock. If it was them who faced Yang Yi, they would not be able to withstand it. Smallpox is simply a killer. This guy is really daring to use it. He is really a living devil. Li Shimin stroked the information in front of him and sighed. And this bounty order, it's a great idea. With this bounty order, the anti-Qing royal family is finished. Everyone nodded in agreement. One hundred tails of gold each. Even they are tempted, not to mention those ordinary people. Li Shimin suddenly sighed. Cheng Sun Wuji hurriedly said, Your Majesty, what's wrong with you? Everyone looked at Li Shimin. Li Shimin's eyes flashed with complexity. I thought Yang Yi would die at the hands of Emperor Qianlong before, and I felt a little sorry at that time. Such a genius, it would be a waste if he died. But now that he is alive, I am afraid of him again. I wish he would die at the hands of Emperor Qianlong now. This Yang Yi is worth ten of my black armored. Li Si and others were shocked and their scalps were numb. Qing was defeated. When they thought of their previous idea of wanting to get a share of the spoils, they felt ashamed. Fortunately, they didn't go, otherwise they would have been killed by smallpox. Ying Zheng's face was calm, but his heart was in turmoil. Although he had acted confidently before, he actually didn't think that Yang Yi could solve Qianlong's army. However, Yang Yi's performance was unexpected. He actually used the smallpox that no one could have thought of to destroy the Qing dynasty. He said slowly, with one's own strength, he attacked the city and destroyed the country. Unparalleled national scholar, Ying Zheng sighed for a while. He then said, send someone to Zhou, trade with Yang Yi for the solution to smallpox. If Qin and Zhou can establish diplomatic relations, it would be great. Li Si and others looked at each other and said one after another. Yes, your majesty. Half a month later. Great Zhou. Yang Qing, Tang, Han, Qin, Ming and other countries have sent envoys. They all want to see you, and want the method to prevent smallpox. Wu Zhao's cold voice echoed in the hall. Yang Yi raised his eyebrows. He didn't expect so many countries to send people. But solving smallpox is indeed quite shocking at the moment. He pondered for a moment. Your Majesty, why not arrange for them tomorrow? Wu Zhao was thoughtful. Are you going to announce this method to prevent smallpox? Yang Yi smiled. In this war against Cheng, many people have been vaccinated with cowpox. Besides, many people in my great Zhou have also been vaccinated with cowpox. This method can't be concealed. It's better to tell them openly. I'm afraid the emperors of these countries are not really just for smallpox. Wu Zhao was stunned and a little curious. Why do you say that? Yang Yi spread his hands. With the intelligence capabilities of these big countries, is it difficult for them to find out how we vaccinate against smallpox? Wu Zhao thought. That makes sense. It is not difficult. Then they are for. Yang Yi smiled. Of course they are looking for a reason to establish diplomatic relations with us. Your Majesty, 
my great Zhou is no longer the small country it once was. Defeating the Qing is enough to prove the status of my great Zhou. They established diplomatic relations with us, which actually recognized our current strength and qualified to stand shoulder to shoulder with them. When you are strong, you are surrounded by friends. Wu Zhao thought and sighed. Indeed, my great Zhou is no longer the small country it once was. You have made great contributions to today, and Zhou is thanks to you. Such a big great Zhou, I can't support it alone. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be able to hold on. At the end, the Empress herself might not have noticed that her voice was a little soft. Yang Yi's heart was slightly moved by the Empress's tone, and he couldn't help but blurt out. Then your majesty will stay with me forever. The hall was suddenly quiet. Wu Zhao's cold and noble face turned red, as if she had applied a layer of light rouge, and her black and white phoenix eyes flashed a hint of complexity. She felt a little embarrassed for no reason. This guy stayed with Sanyang all day, why did he tease her now? However, she herself did not realize that she did not seem to have much resistance. Yang Yi regretted it after she finished speaking. This is the Empress. This is still in ancient times, and the customs are not comparable to modern times. It seems not good for him to tease his female leader like this. The hall was quiet for a while. Wu Zhao was silent for a long time, as if she did not hear this. The matter of meeting the envoys of various countries is left to you. Lian is tired. After saying that, she turned and walked out of the palace. Yang Yi was stunned, feeling a little strange. The empress didn't blame him for his rude words. He glanced at the empress. Her majesty's back was still graceful, her plump breasts could be seen with perfect curves even from behind, her slender waist was like a snake, and her round hips held up the skirt with gold thread. The sunlight outside the palace shone in, as if you could see the legs looming under the skirt. Yang Yi fell into deep thought. With this figure, it seems that it is not impossible to ride on the emperor. The next day, Honglu Temple, meet Prime Minister Yang. The envoys in the Honglu Temple saluted Yang Yi one after another. The envoy next to him whispered to Yang Yi. Yang Yi introduced the identities of these envoys. Fang Xuanling, Song Lian, Zhu Fu Yan, and Wei Liao of Qin. These envoys are important figures in their own countries. They can be sent to the Great Zhou. It can be seen that the emperors of various countries attach great importance to the Great Zhou. Yang Yi is of course not unfamiliar with these people. These people are also famous in history. After a while, everyone simply exchanged greetings and sat down. Fang Xuanling touched his beard and smiled immediately. I have heard of Yang Zhang's name for a long time. I met him today. Yang Shang is indeed a dragon among men. Yang Yi said modestly, Fang Shengshu is too kind. Fang Xuanling smiled immediately. The emperor of our great Tang has praised Yang many times. If Yang Shang has time in the future, he must go to our great Tang to meet your majesty. Your majesty admires Yang Shang very much. Quote, Yang Yi muttered in his heart. I'm afraid Lier Fang has set his sights on him. He also knew that poisonous scholars like him would generally attract hatred. Being targeted by the emperor of the Tang dynasty was probably not a good thing. He thought in his heart, but said calmly, The Tang dynasty and the Zhou dynasty are neighbors, and even more so friendly countries. I will definitely go to the Tang dynasty as an envoy if I have the opportunity in the future. Fang Xuanling smiled, We heard that Prime Minister Yang has a solution to smallpox. Quote, this is a great deed. Before I left, His Majesty had instructed that I must ask Prime Minister Yang for advice on how to prevent smallpox. Quote, the Tang Dynasty is willing to pay any price. Song Lian, Lord Father Yan, and Wei Liao beside him also said at this time. My Ming Dynasty also came for this smallpox method. The Han Dynasty is the same. The Qin State is willing to trade smallpox methods with the Zhou Dynasty. Quote, Yang Yi was calm, with a smile like spring breeze on his angular face. He said righteously, You are too polite. Smallpox is the public enemy of all countries. Now that my great Joe has a solution, how can I cherish it? I will ask someone to prepare this method to prevent smallpox and send it to you later. Fang Xuanling, Song Lian, Zhu Fu Yan, and Wei Liao were stunned and surprised. Although they didn't think Yang Yi would refuse, they didn't expect Yang Yi to give it to them for free. Fang Xuanling stroked his beard and said in a deep voice, 
Prime Minister Yang, do you really not need any requirements? My great Tang came with sincerity. The other three also looked at Yang Yi. Yang Yi shook his head, his eyes full of sincerity. My great Zhou and Qin, Han, Tang, and Ming are all great countries in the Central Plains, and we should share weal and woe. Besides, solving the smallpox problem is doing things for the people of the world, so why would we need to be paid? Fang Xuanling and the other three twitched their lips. If someone else said this, they would still be willing to believe it. But Yang Yi, the first poisoner of the Great Zhou, said this, which made it feel a bit awkward. Yang Yi continued, Of course, if you really feel bad and don't want to take it for free, I do have a small request. Fang Xuanling, Song Lian, Zhu Fu Yan, and Wei Liao nodded immediately. Quote dot 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 quote. Yang Yi's eyes flashed with a smile. The Great Zhou Daily is a unique publication in our Great Zhou. Now almost every citizen of our Great Zhou has it. I hope that the Great Zhou Daily can also open branches in the capitals of several countries. In this way, it will be easier for people from different countries to understand each other and enhance the friendship between countries. What do you think? Fang Xuanling, Song Lian, Zhu Fu Yan, and Wei Liao subconsciously fell into deep thought. They knew the power of the Great Zhou Daily. However, the benefits of the Great Zhou Daily are also obvious, that is, to speed up the flow of information. After the launch of the Great Zhou Daily, their countries have also tried to establish newspapers like the Great Zhou Daily. For example, the Tang Dynasty has also launched the Great Tang Confucian newspaper, but the effect is obviously very general. Fang Xuanling thought for a moment and then said, Prime Minister Yang, this is not difficult. I will write a letter to ask your majesty for instructions later. I believe your majesty will agree. Quote. The other three also nodded. They all came with the purpose of establishing diplomatic relations with the great Zhou. And Yang Yi's request was not excessive. Half an hour later, Fang Xuanling, Song Lian, and Wei Liao took their leave. They were going back to write a letter to the emperor. Lord Father Yan was also ready to leave, but Yang Yi quickly stopped him. Lord Father Yan was stunned, and then bowed respectfully. He was different from Fang Xuanling and the other two. His status was far inferior to Yang Yi. And because he admired Yang Yi's infefment order very much, he respected Yang Yi quite a lot. Yang Yi smiled. Lord Father Zhang Dafu and I hit it off at first sight. Zhang Dafu doesn't need to be so polite. If Zhang Dafu is free, you can come to my mansion and sit down. Lord Father Yan was flattered. Although he held the position of Zhang Dafu in the Han Dynasty, his reputation and power were far inferior to Yang Yi. I didn't expect that he was quite polite. Thank you, Prime Minister Yang. He said hurriedly. Yang Yi raised his eyebrows, with a sly look in his eyes. Dr. Zhang, can you do me a favor when you return to the Han Dynasty this time? Zhu Fu Yan was stunned, and then realized why Yang Yi was so enthusiastic about him. Prime Minister Yang, Please tell me. Yang Yi smiled slightly, deliberately showing a guilty look on his face. There is a singing girl in the residence of Princess Pingyang of your country. Yang Yi saw her from afar several years ago and fell in love with her at first sight. I still remember her. However, I was penniless and had no achievements at that time, so I could only leave sadly. Now I can be considered to have made some achievements, so I hope that the doctor can help me to be a matchmaker with Princess Pingyang and bring the singing girl to Da Zhou. I am willing to redeem her. Lord Father Yan was stunned. He didn't expect that this ruthless scholar who became the powerful prime minister of Da Zhou at a young age actually had a singing girl in his heart. He was delighted. Isn't this the best opportunity to make friends with this powerful prime minister of Da Zhou? Lord Father Yan immediately said in a deep voice, Please rest assured, Prime Minister Yang. A gentleman helps others to achieve their goals. This is just a small matter. Lord Father Yan will definitely live up to your trust. Please tell me the name of the singing girl. Yang Yi said seriously, The name of the singer is Wei Zifu. I heard that she has two relatives, her younger brother Wei Cheng, and her nephew Huo Qubing. He had already found out that the current emperor of the Han Dynasty, Lu Che, still had Empress Chen, the protagonist of the story of a beautiful woman in a golden house, Chen Zhao. That is to say, it is very likely that Wei Zifu has not been selected by Lu Che to enter the palace. It would be great if Wei Zifu could be snatched away. 
This is a woman with two legendary golden dowries. Lord Father Yan did not doubt him, but felt that Yang Shang was extremely infatuated, and immediately patted his chest and promised to do it. Anyway, she was just a singer, and he did not think that Princess Pingyang, who liked to cling to power, would refuse the request of the powerful Prime Minister of the Great Zhou Dynasty. Ten days later, Fang Xuanling and others all brought news of cooperation. The establishment of branches of the Great Zhou Daily in the capitals of various countries has been put on the agenda. Yang Yi had someone give several people the method of preventing smallpox, which was considered a gift for the first cooperation. And Lord Father Yan brought him good news. There was indeed a singing girl named Wei Zifu in the mansion of Princess Pingyang of the Han Dynasty. Now Wei Zifu, her brother Wei Qing, and Huo Qubing have been escorted to the Great Zhou by Princess Pingyang. After all, it was just a singing girl, a servant, and a child. Of course, Princess Pingyang would not be reluctant to do a favor for Yang Yi. Half a month later, Yang Mansion, many carriages were parked outside the mansion. As the most powerful minister in the Great Zhou Dynasty. Of course, there were countless people who came to curry favor with him. Outside his mansion, there were often people who came to give gifts, but these people basically couldn't even get in the door. Suddenly, a carriage full of Han Dynasty decoration style gradually stopped outside Yang Mansion. The people waiting in the corner next to it were a little curious. Whose carriage is this? This style doesn't seem to be local. Quote, the person next to him said disdainfully. It doesn't matter where the carriage is from, it can't enter the gate of Yang's mansion anyway. The rest of the people nodded. They came to Yang Yi's mansion to give gifts under the order of their master, but they were often turned away. They have never seen anyone succeed in giving gifts. Under the watchful eyes of the public, the doorman of Yang's mansion ran to the Han-style carriage and asked a few questions. Then, the carriage entered Yang's mansion from the side door in the stunned eyes of the crowd. Half an hour later, in the study, Yang Yi looked at the girl in front of him who was obviously bathed and dressed by the maid of the mansion, and was a little surprised. It was for Wei Qing that Huo Qubing deliberately fooled Lord Father Yan and asked him to send Wei Zifu over, and he didn't expect too much from Wei Zifu, who was born as a singer in history. Unexpectedly, this girl was beautiful, tall, with long black hair tied in a bun that was popular among Han women. Her hair fell down on both sides and was divided into two strands, revealing her snow-white oval face, which looked bright and beautiful. Moving, a pair of watery eyes looked crystal clear, looking at Yang Yi timidly. She was wearing a white jade silk skirt, looking pure and elegant, with a tall chest and a slender waist. Obviously, as a singer in Princess Pingyang's mansion, she also had extremely high requirements for her figure and appearance. Seeing Yang Yi, Wei Zifu hurriedly saluted. This servant greets the Prime Minister. Yang Yi looked at Wei Zifu thoughtfully. Wei Zifu's face flushed, and a rosy color appeared on her rosy skin. She lowered her head shyly and avoided He Yi's gaze. Yang Yi muttered, This girl is really beautiful. He ignored that in history, if she could be favored by Emperor Wu of Han, how could her appearance be bad? But now she is his. Yang Yi is not a moral gentleman. He got such a beautiful girl and gave her two famous generals. He is definitely making a fortune. As his mind turned, he smiled at Wei Zifu. Your brother and nephew will be my Yang Mansion's people in the future. I will recommend your brother an opportunity to serve in the army. As for your nephew, he should still be young. I will let him worship under the tutelage of the famous general Haiki Chengji of the Great Zhou Dynasty. As for you, you will stay here in the future. Wei Zifu pursed her lips and nodded repeatedly. Anyway, she had been given to Yang Yi by the princess, and from now on she would be Yang Yi's person. She glanced at Yang Yi quietly, feeling a little shy. This powerful prime minister of the great Zhou dynasty was quite good-looking. He was completely different from the old man with a big belly and quite old age that she had imagined. This prime minister was really young and promising. Yang Yi saw her shyly lowering her head, and she was so charming that he couldn't help but feel a little swaying in his heart. He immediately stood up and picked up Wei Zifu by the waist. Amid Wei Zifu's cries, he walked into the inner room, put her on the couch, and immediately pressed on her. The next day, it was just dawn. A ray of sunlight came in from the window and sprinkled on the floor in front of the window. Under the couch, the clothes were a little messy. 
On the bed, Yang Yi raised his eyebrows, glanced at the beautiful Wei Zifu in his arms, and the corners of his mouth curled up. This is a famous beauty in history, and now she is his. Yang Yi glanced at Wei Zifu in his arms, and a sense of accomplishment arose spontaneously. He gently stroked Wei Zifu's smooth and white face, and Wei Zi's face suddenly became rosy. Yang Yi was stunned, and then reacted. This girl should have woken up a long time ago. A sly smile flashed at the corner of his mouth. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. The voice of the maid sounded immediately. Prime Minister, someone is coming from the palace, His Majesty invites you to the palace. Yang Yi was stunned. The Empress invited him to the palace. He immediately prepared to sit up. Wei Zifu in his arms suddenly opened her eyes. She sat up obediently, with her eyes drooping, not daring to look at Yang Yi. Then, she blushed and lowered her head, and began to help Yang Yi dress. Yang Yi was speechless, and did not tease the girl too much, but pinched her cheeks, and then dressed and went out with her help. Half an hour later, Qianyuan Hall, Yang Yi bowed to the Empress. Your Majesty, I greet you. Seeing Yang Yi's refreshed appearance, Wu Xi felt a little uncomfortable, and she couldn't help but said. I heard that the girl that Yang Qing liked when he was young has come to the mansion. Now the lovers are finally married, King. Yang Yi couldn't help laughing. Why did the Empress's words sound sour? He pretended to be confused. What does your majesty mean? I don't understand. Wu Zhao had only asked casually, but she didn't expect that this guy would not admit it. She had no expression on her face. Didn't you ask the Han envoy Zhu Fuyan to send you a singing girl from the Han kingdom? This matter has been widely spread. Yang Yi pretended to be surprised. So it's this matter. Perhaps she felt that her question seemed a bit over the top, the Empress casually wiped the hair by her ears and kept her voice calm. I'm just asking for Sanyang. She doesn't seem to be very happy when she heard this rumor. Yang Yi was speechless. I didn't expect the Empress to be so arrogant. It was obvious that the Empress wanted to ask it herself, and she had to bring up the name of Princess Wu San. He said sternly, your majesty has misunderstood. This humble minister's action is also for our great Zhou. Ha, huh, this made Wu Zhao, who had a calm face, look stunned. Even Shang Wan Waner, who was serving beside her, couldn't hold it anymore. She looked at Yang Yi in shock. As expected of Prime Minister Yang, this is really a lie. Can finding a woman be good for the great Zhou? Yang Yi met the incredible eyes of the two women and said sternly. Although this woman is ordinary, her brother and nephew are extraordinary. Wang Jundao is quite talented. The reason why I asked Lord Father Yan to send this woman here is just to cover up. My real target is his brother Wei Qing and nephew Huo Qubing. With a little training, these two people will definitely become the pillars of our great Zhou in the future. Wu Zhao was stunned and a little surprised. So you are here for her brother and nephew. No wonder you asked someone to send her brother and nephew here. But there are rumors outside that you love beauty. She already believed Yang Yi's words 9 out of 10. After all, if he was just attracted by the beauty of that woman, there was no need to bring her brother and nephew here. Yang Yi looked like he was going to hell, and he was righteous. It's just a little reputation, for the sake of the great Zhou, what's the point of mentioning it? The counselor has entered the game with his body. As long as the great Zhou can get two more famous generals, I will have a more romantic reputation. Wu Zhao raised her eyebrows. She looked at Yang Yi a little strangely. It sounded like he had suffered a great loss. Wu Zhao didn't care. Even if Yang Yi really took in a singing girl, she wouldn't meddle in it. After all, it was normal for a man to have a wife and four concubines. The reason why I asked was because the rumor was too outrageous, saying that Yang Yi's childhood sweetheart was her lover when she was young, and she felt uncomfortable. Yang Yi looked at Wu Zhao with a smile. Your Majesty, did you invite me to the palace for this matter? His eyes were so penetrating that they seemed to reach into Wu Zhao's heart. The Empress, heart trembled, and she said calmly. Me, she frowned slightly and suddenly became serious. Yang Qing, my great Zhou has just pacified the Qing Kingdom. Although there are still some remnants of the Qing Kingdom resisting, they can't do anything. I originally wanted to send officials from the Great Zhou to take over the territory of the Qing Kingdom and use it for governance. But I have recently discovered some problems. 
someone reported that some officials in Qing were making a lot of money in the name of various tax increases. That's fine. They took advantage of the fact that the war had just ended and the land registration books in Qing were destroyed and scattered, and secretly occupied the land. Humph, these people are from aristocratic families. I don't know how much land they have in my great Zhou. Now they take this opportunity to occupy land in Qing. The people of Qing have just surrendered, and the people's hearts are unstable. I originally planned to appease the people by reducing taxes first. I didn't expect these people to take the lead. If this goes on for a long time, the people of Qing will definitely resent the court, and even rebel in the future and start a war again. Wu Zi became more and more angry, and his face was full of coldness. Since ancient times, the gentry and the imperial power have always been in a state of mutual balance. These aristocratic families in Dajou are all too arrogant and domineering. They all shrink when fighting, and run out to get benefits after the fight. Her Majesty took a deep breath, and she looked at Yang Yi. Mr. Yang, I don't want the territory conquered by my great Zhou soldiers to be fought again because of these fools. Do you have any good ideas? Yang Yi thought for a moment and then smiled. Since your majesty asked me, I do have some strategies to deal with these aristocratic families. Quote. Wu Zhao's eyes lit up. Please speak, Yang Qing. Sheng Wan Waner on the side had a strange look on her face. Your majesty, you may have forgotten that this adult's strategies are more vicious than each other. Yang Yi touched his chin, met the empress's eyes, and curled his lips. May I ask your majesty, how is the land tax collected in my great Zhou now? Wu Zhao blinked her black and white eyes and pondered. The taxes in my great Zhou are divided into household taxes, land taxes, capital taxes, and additional taxes, miscellaneous taxes, commercial taxes, and light taxes. Additional taxes include foot money, warehouse taxes, and bundles. Commercial taxes include dike taxes, road removal taxes, etc. Yang Yi rubbed his eyebrows, met the empress's eyes, and smiled. Your majesty, there are too many redundant tax names, so the Miao family does not know which taxes are necessary for the court to pay. Let's not talk about those commercial taxes and miscellaneous taxes. Just the land tax, corvée and other miscellaneous taxes are a mess. Quote. This also gives those corrupt officials an opportunity to take advantage of it. Corrupt officials create tax names and plunder the people. I think the first step is to stipulate that the land tax, corvée and other miscellaneous taxes of each state and county can be combined into one, and silver can be collected together. Quote. In this way, these officials will not be able to forcibly collect taxes from the people for other reasons. I call it the one whip law. Once this law is issued, it will definitely cut off their financial resources. Wu Zhao's phoenix eyes flashed with a trace of shock, and she said excitedly. Yang Qing's words are very reasonable. Quote, Once this one whip law is issued, who dares not to blatantly collect taxes? These corrupt officials will definitely be helpless. She didn't expect that Yang Yi's random strategy would directly hit the crux of the problem. She was already impatient to see the corrupt officials gritting their teeth. In addition to the one whip law, the second method is to change the current tax system of our great Zhou based on the number of people to the number of acres of land. Yang Yi met the empress's gaze and suddenly said the second method. The palace became quiet. Shang Wan Waner on the side took a breath of cold air, her pretty face full of shock. It's the same as the one whip law just now. The one whip law was to cut off the financial path of corrupt officials, and this change of the tax system based on the number of acres of land to the tax system based on the number of acres of land is simply to cut off the roots of the aristocratic families. Since ancient times, the last way for aristocratic families to accumulate assets is to occupy land. All the aristocratic families have countless fertile fields. And because of the existence of the head tax, the aristocratic families can't pay much tax. But it's different for ordinary farmers. These poor farmers have many children, but not too many acres of land. However, the tax to be paid is not less at all. As a result, there are many strange things like, the rich have fields stretching across the country, but they have few men to work, while the poor have no place to stand and have more corvy labor. The abolition of the head tax is different. It will reduce the burden of those poor farmers and impose more taxes on the wealthy aristocratic families. In this way, those aristocratic families will probably go crazy.
Wu Zhao's black and white phoenix eyes were wide open, full of shock, and her scalp was numb. Her rosy lips were slightly open, and she also looked incredible. She didn't expect that she was just asking how to deal with those corrupt officials, but Yang Yi came up with a ruthless move, trying to cut off the foundation of the aristocratic families. These aristocratic families own countless lands, but they don't pay much tax at all, but lie on the empire to suck blood. If the head tax is abolished, these aristocratic families will bleed hard. She was silent for a moment and looked at Yang Yi. Yang Qing, do you know that if you do this, you will most likely be opposed by the whole court, and countless people will hate you to the core? Yang Yi smiled slightly. If it is beneficial to the country, life and death are not the same, why should we avoid it because of good or bad luck? Wu Zhao was shocked and repeated Yang Yi's poem in her heart several times. Her phoenix eyes were full of shock, and she couldn't help but feel a little admiration in her heart. She looked at Yang Yi deeply. Such a reform will inevitably cause countless obstructions. Yang Yi clapped his hands and laughed. Yes, because these nobles not only don't have to pay land taxes, but also concealed their actual land numbers in the land registration book, so they will definitely do everything they can to stop it. However, your majesty, I think that the great Zhou has now eliminated the external threats, and it's time to take action to eliminate these internal rats. The great Zhou has just defeated the Qing dynasty, and these soldiers are in high spirits. I think if anyone dares to resist, I don't mind letting these soldiers who have just finished the battlefield go and kill them fiercely. Quote. Quiet. The murderous intent hidden in Yang Yi's casual words shocked Wu Zetian and Sheng Wan Wanner. The empress was silent for a while, looking at Yang Yi firmly. I support you. Yang Yi felt relieved suddenly. Whether it is the single whip law or the land tax, as long as the emperor fully supports it, it is not a problem. He smiled slightly. I have a third one. Wu Zhao was stunned. There is still a plan. She was a little curious. Please tell me, Mr. Yang. Yang Yi's lips curled up slightly, revealing a smile. I think these corrupt officials are rampant and have occupied so many fields, but the court knows very little because no one reports it. You can add a report box in the government office, and anyone can submit a report information to the box. Quote, corrupt officials are plundering the people and exploiting the people. We don't know, but don't the people know? As long as the people report the corrupt officials' occupation of land to the court, the court will have a direction and the search will be faster. More importantly, it can deter the BR of my great Zhou. Wu Zhao was stunned, and then a look of shock appeared on her pretty face. I didn't expect Yang Yi to play this trick. She hesitated a little. Yang Cheng, I'm afraid this won't work. If the people don't fight the officials, who will report the officials? Besides, once this report box is opened, it will cause endless troubles in the future. If someone deliberately interferes and randomly releases the report evidence, what should we do? Yang Yi said with a smile without panic. Your Majesty, this report box is not for long-term use, but for temporary use when the court implements the one whip law and the land tax is distributed, this will avoid random reports in the future. Quote. Secondly, although the people should not fight against the officials, who says that there must be information reported by the people, in the report box before the officials can be investigated. Wu Zhao was startled, her eyebrows furrowed, and she was somewhat puzzled. Shang Wan Waner was also a little confused. What does Yang Shang mean by this? The Empress pursed her lips. Yang Cheng, what do you mean? Yang Yi showed a mysterious smile and narrowed his eyes. As soon as the policy of this reporting box is released, no matter who I say is reported, there will be problems with his land. I can investigate him, and no one can refuse, because if you refuse, you must have something to hide. Hiss. Shang Wan Waner and Wu Shi took a breath of cold air, staring at Yang Yi with tingling scalps, stunned. They didn't expect Yang Yi to do this. This is to occupy the moral high ground with false evidence, hold the imperial sword in hand, and ensure that the land tax can be smoothly implemented. Yang Yi's three strategies are linked together. A set of combined punches is likely to make the aristocratic families dizzy. This set of strategies is too cruel. With this series of schemes, the aristocratic families will be blown to pieces. Wu Zhao's phoenix eyes flickered slightly. She pondered for a moment and said, Yang Cheng, I will give you full authority to deal with this matter. 
In addition, I will grant you the temporary post of the general of the Jinwu Guard, and you can mobilize all the troops in the capital. Yang Yi said solemnly, I obey your orders. Quote, the next day, Yang Yi quickly drafted a decree on the one whip law and the land tax, and sent it to the secretariat for review. It has not been issued yet, but it has caused a stir in the court. The Council Hall, Minister Yang, this policy may shake the foundation of our great Zhou. Li Yifu's face was ugly, and he said angrily, looking at other countries, they all pay the capitation silver, but you are so good. What is the policy of spreading the capitation into the land? Is it a policy of national destruction? He has been quite low-key during this period. He really found that Yang Yi could not be shaken at all. Even the king of Wei Wu Yuanshuang was beaten by Yang Yi in a few moves and fled in panic. He even issued an order to extend his favor. He could not even keep his fiefdom in the future. As the emperor's favor to Yang Yi deepened, he could only secretly envy and resent. Unexpectedly, Yang Yi suddenly proposed a one-whip law, spreading the capitation into the land, and report box today. Especially this, spreading the capitation into the land, isn't it going to kill these big families? Land surveying, can this thing be checked? How many people will die if it is checked? Now, he has to stand up and oppose Yang Yi. Moreover, this time, it is not just him who opposes, but nearly 60% of the officials in the court. Everyone looked at Yang Yi with anger, but there was a hint of fear in the anger. No one expected that Yang Yi, the living devil, would suddenly point his gun at them. These days, the living devil's methods have been really cruel. Wouldn't it be a death wish to go against this living devil? What is this, one whip method, and, taxation per mu? It's a scheme to wipe out the whole family. Cutting off their financial resources and measuring their land, isn't that killing them? Some things don't weigh more than four tails, but once they are weighed, they can't be stopped. This guy is too cruel. Put them on the fire. Yang Yi glanced at the excited officials and the ugly-looking Li Yifu. Minister Li, do you know that if you throw a brick into a doghouse, only the dog that is hit will bark? You haven't occupied many people's land in your name, have you? Li Yifu's face suddenly turned pale, and fear clenched his heart like a poisonous snake, and his fingers couldn't help but tremble. The hall suddenly became quiet. Everyone present gasped and looked shocked. No one expected Yang Yi to be so direct, showing his sharp edge. Under the watchful eyes of the crowd, Li Yifu's face was extremely bad, and he hesitated. Nonsense, how is it possible? Yang Yi, don't slander me. Yang Yi narrowed his eyes, and a trace of arc appeared at the corner of his mouth that frightened Li Yifu. Whether there is land occupation or not, we will know after checking it. The land yellow book, the amount of land registered is clear. Everyone was suddenly shocked, gasped, and looked terrified. They trembled in their hearts. The amount of land recorded in the land yellow book is certainly not the same as their actual amount of land. You know, concealing the area of one's land is a matter of common practice. If you really want to check, how can it withstand the investigation? The atmosphere in the hall was strangely silent. Wu Zhao glanced at everyone and said lightly. The single whip law and the land tax are bound to be implemented. I have already appointed Yang Yi. Dismiss the court. Li Mansion, Minister Li, what should we do now? Yes, Yang Yi has gained power and now he wants to point his gun at us. It's abominable. This guy is too vicious. He wants to divide the land tax. He wants to dig up our roots. Yes, this Jiju is too vicious. Everyone looked ugly, with fear and shock in their eyes. Even if they didn't stand opposite Yang Yi before, they could feel Yang Yi's cruelty towards the enemies of the Qing dynasty. Now that they are really on the opposite side of Yang Yi, they feel the suffocation and fear coming at them. This Yang Yi wants their lives. Every strategy is to hit their weak points. Li Yi Mansion glanced at everyone. The people present were at least five rank officials, and each of them was a high-ranking official in the court. Even if they were placed outside, they were also frontier officials guarding a place. But now he is in a panic, extremely medical. Li Yifu took a deep breath and comforted everyone. Don't panic, Yang Yi's move is tantamount to going against the gentry and dignitaries of the entire Great Zhou and 70% of the officials. He won't succeed. Humph, he said he wanted to clear the land and then clear the land. 
even how many officials under him dare to say that they have a clean hand. Unless Yang Yi leads his people to clear the land one by one. Otherwise, the officials under him will not work hard for him. After all, he has touched the interests of everyone this time. And if he is the only one who dares to investigate, it will take a long time to clear all the land. His so-called one-whip method, the land tax per mu, is impossible to implement. There are policies from above and countermeasures from below, don't you know? Li Yifu's words made everyone feel much more at ease. After all, what Li Yifu said makes sense. Those who go against the majority of the official class in the officialdom will never have a good end, nor will they succeed. Even if the opponent is this living devil. Yes, if he wants to go against the officialdom of the great Zhou, he has to see if he has the ability to do so. Yes, he is a good minister of power, but he has to make trouble for us, so let him know what he can't afford to offend. Anyway, as long as someone comes to survey the land, I will ask the servants to close the door. Can they still break in? Ha ha ha, you were right, I will close the door. Can those dare to break in? Yes, we are afraid of Yang Yi, but not those under him. Let him investigate and see who can outlast whom. Everyone felt much more relaxed and began to smile and sneer with disdain. It is not easy to fight against an entire class. Yang Yi's plan this time was doomed to fail. Two days passed. The one whip law and the land tax were all issued by the secretariat. The first step was to survey the land. All officials were laughing at Yang Yi. They didn't think Yang Yi could succeed. Another day passed. The report box policy was launched as promised. But no one dared to submit evidence to report. After three or five days, those officials who were a little nervous at the beginning all sneered. It seems that Yang Yi is just bluffing. The first poisoner in the Great Zhou. That won't work. Li Mansion, Minister Li, it's been several days, and Yang Yi hasn't made any move yet. It seems that he made a mistake this time, ha ha ha. Yes, we thought this guy would make some big moves, but he was just a silver spearhead. Ha ha, he made me worry for a while, but now it seems that he is just like that. You are all too timid, how can Yang Yi succeed? The first poisoner of the Great Zhou is just like that. He is going to fall flat on his face this time. Everyone was talking and mocking. It was really that the several strategies proposed by Yang Yi before scared them. Now seeing that Yang Yi's strategy didn't work at all, the fear that had been suppressed for a long time was vented out. Li Yifu's eyes were cold and he sneered. As long as we hold on, Yang Yi will surely fail. He offered some strategies, and then he thought that no one in the world could do anything, and he began to be arrogant. This time, let's know what it means to be arrogant and conceited. Everyone couldn't help but laugh, venting their previous fear and disdain for Yang Yi. Ming Dynasty. Father, do you think Yang Yi is crazy? He picked up a knife and started to clean out the interior of the Great Zhou. Zhu Biao was a little puzzled, how can these gentry and dignitaries be so easy to deal with? Zhu Yuanzhang rubbed his eyebrows. He did what we wanted to do but couldn't do. This one whip method, the land tax is really good. But it's a pity that he is destined to fail this time. Zhu Biao nodded in agreement. This time is different from the enemies of the Qing dynasty. His two decrees are aimed at 70% of the officials of the Zhou dynasty. Quote, what good results will come from going against the entire officialdom? Zhu Yuanzhang nodded slightly. He said in a deep voice. The enemies within the empire are more difficult to deal with than those enemies outside who are using knives and guns. Since ancient times, anyone who reforms the entire officialdom, even the emperor, will fail. This time, he didn't make sense. Tang Dynasty. What a courage. Li Shimin's eyes flashed with shock. I only dared to take it slowly, and even when I made a book, clan records, I encountered a lot of resistance. I didn't expect this person to dare to directly propose a policy like, spreading the land tax into the land. What a vicious plan, wanting to cut off the enemy's backbone with one knife. This is probably too hasty, he is doomed to fail. Cheng Sun Wuji and others nodded. They still know how the Sui dynasty collapsed. Standing on the opposite side of the powerful will not end well. Han dynasty. Good, good Yang Yi, good one whip law, good land tax. Lu Che narrowed his eyes, full of murderous intent, it would be great if I had such a daring minister under my command, these parasites of the empire should be killed. 
Zhu Fuyan, Sang Hongyang, Zhang Tang and others looked at each other. Their emperor was full of murderous intent. After a while, Lu Che calmed down. He touched his chin and said with some regret, I admire his courage. However, I also know that reform will not succeed. Those who have carried out reforms in the past dynasties have only failed. Dokken, Zongtai Palace, Ying Zheng looked at the information in front of him with complexity. Are you going to attack the entire officialdom? What a cruel and vicious plot. This time, are you going to put yourself in the picture? Li Si, Wang Wei and others were all shocked. They didn't expect Yang Yi to do such a thing. Li Si couldn't help but say, this is not what a smart person like him should do. He is too arrogant. Does he think he can fight against the entire first game? Wang Wan sneered. It should be that he was overwhelmed by too many victories before and forgot to know the limits. It's a pity that this time, the Empress can't save him. Fang Qiji and Wei Liao shook their heads. They were also not optimistic about Yang Yi. The fate of the reformers has long been determined. No one can offend the entire officialdom and still be safe. What's more, Yang Yi's policies may not be implemented. Ying Zheng was silent for a while and said slowly. His tax-sharing system and the one-whip system are vicious schemes for the gentry and the rich, but good for the empire. But this time, such a strategy is probably difficult to implement. Three days later, Lo Yang, the report box placed at the gate of the imperial city still did not make any movement. This made all the people who were watching feel disappointed. When Yang Yi's decree was issued, all the people had a little expectation. But they were ordinary people after all, and no one dared to report. They were waiting to see if this so-called report box was just a decoration. What if they reported it and ended up getting themselves into trouble? With this mentality, everyone was waiting. But it seemed that until now, this thing had become a decoration. And the officials who passed by the imperial city from time to time also sneered in their hearts. This report box is really a fantasy. Could it be that Yang did ye really think that those timid civilians dared to report? The sun was high in the sky. The sun shone on the imperial city, making the towering city look even taller. The soldiers guarding the imperial city stood guard calmly. Suddenly, a sound of footsteps was heard. The soldiers were startled and looked in the direction of the sound with some caution. A man wearing a bamboo hat strode over, holding a thick envelope in his hand. Under the astonished eyes of the soldiers, the man stuffed the envelope into the reporting box and left immediately. The soldiers looked at each other in shock. Someone really did report. After an incense stick, oh, someone reported, bring it here for me to see, Yang Yi said with a smile. The men hurriedly took the envelope from the box and gave it to Yang Yi. Yang Yi opened it and smiled at the familiar beautiful small characters on it. The handwriting on it was of course Wei Zifu's. Every sentence was read by Yang Yi while Wei Zifu wrote. Yang Yi put the letter on the table calmly, and his face suddenly became serious. Someone reported that Li Yifu had swallowed up good farmland and occupied thousands of acres of land. Come on, follow me to Li's house to check it out. The officials were stunned and looked at each other. To check the residence of Li Yifu, the minister of the central secretariat. Many people swallowed their saliva. Who dares to provoke Li Yifu? But at this time, they did not dare to disobey Yang Yi's orders. Half an hour later, Li's house, a sound of horse hooves sounded. Yang Yi came here with a group of officials and soldiers. The servant of Li's house hurriedly said, Hello, Prime Minister Yang, my master is not at home. Yang Yi said calmly, Someone reported that Li Yifu occupied the land. This official brought people here to survey the land. It doesn't matter whether Li Yifu is here or not. Come and take the land deed with us to survey the land. The servant's eyes rolled around. Prime Minister Yang, the master is not at home, I can't make the decision, you guys. Before he finished speaking, Xu Chu, who was holding back a lot of anger behind Yang Yi, was furious and kicked the servant far away. Bullshit, who do you think you are, dare to talk to the Prime Minister like this? The servant flew backwards for several meters and fell to the ground, blood gushing out of his mouth, breathing less and breathing less. The officials next to him swallowed their saliva and trembled with fear. They looked at the soldiers behind Xu Chu in horror, guessing that today would be a big deal. Yang Yi smiled slightly and waved gently. Xu Chu behind him excitedly raised his weapon. 
Charge for me, break the door. The soldiers behind him roared and followed Shu Chu. They had just come down from the battlefield, and they were all murderous. Most importantly, because Yang Yi's vicious schemes repeatedly defeated his opponents, they admired Yang Yi very much. This was an iron-blooded army that only listened to Yang Yi. In a short while, the door of Li's mansion was smashed. Xu Chu led his men to rush in and arrested all the family members of Li Yifu. Originally, these people were unwilling to hand over the land deed, but Xu Chu chopped off the head of one of Li Yifu's nephews with a knife, and blood spurted out. Finally, Li Yifu's wife trembled and took out the land deed and followed Xu Chu out. Xu Chu respectfully said to Yang Yi, Prime Minister, I have brought it. Yang Yi smiled slightly and said to the officials behind him, Let's go and measure the land of Li Shilang's family. The officials were sweating profusely. On the other side, Zongshu Province, Minister Li, I heard someone reported you, and Yang Yi took people to your mansion. An official came over and couldn't help but say, Everyone couldn't help but look at Li Yifu. Li Yifu had known the news a long time ago, and pretended to be indifferent. The so-called report is just slander. I am upright and I am not afraid of the shadow. Can Minister Yang demolish my mansion? Everyone thought about it and looked at Li Yifu with admiration. Minister Li was still very good at cultivating his qi. Li Yifu also felt that his analysis was correct and became more and more confident. He said indifferently, without evidence, everything is false. Minister Yang is still too young. How can he believe the things in the report box? As soon as he finished speaking, a clerk rushed in in a hurry. Minister Li, Minister Yang. Minister Yang smashed your house and is now taking you to Qingwen to take your land. What? Li Yifu's eyes widened in shock. This kid smashed his house. How did he get the land deed? His face turned green. The officials beside him gasped and were stunned. This Minister Yang didn't play by the rules at all. They felt a chill under their feet. There was no way to end this matter today. Li Yifu swallowed his saliva, stood up suddenly, and rushed out. He had to see his majesty, otherwise he would be finished. Half a day later, Yang Yi looked at the endless fields and the clerks who were measuring the fields, and smiled at the officials behind him. This time, with less than one-fifth of the land deed, 23,000 acres of land have been measured. What an honest Li Shilang. With so many acres of land occupied, I don't know how many innocent families have been broken. He really deserves to die. Although it was a smile, the murderous aura in it almost condensed into substance. Many officials trembled in their calves, and a chill rushed straight to their heads. They all knew that Li Yifu was finished. The next day, in the council hall, the atmosphere was quite depressing. Many officials had complicated expressions. Reporting to your majesty, Li Yifu is suspected of occupying nearly 70,000 mu of other people's land. The land registered in the Land Yellow Book is 600 mu, but he actually owns nearly 100,000 mu. Yang Yi's sonorous voice echoed in the hall. Everyone took a breath and looked at the pale Li Yifu in astonishment. Registered 600 mu, actually owning 100,000 mu. This is a hundred times difference. Wu Zhao was also shocked. She knew that her officials had occupied land privately, but she didn't expect it to be so exaggerated. This is simply sucking blood from the great Zhou. Her phoenix eyes were full of anger, and she looked at Li Yifu coldly. What else do you have to say? Li Yifu trembled all over, and was full of fear in his sleep. He knelt down quickly. Betra, Yang Yi smiled with a hint of meaning. No wonder Li Shilang had been against the land survey before. It turns out that he really had something to hide. Li Yifu glared at Yang Yi, hating him deeply. If it weren't for this, he would end up like this. He took a deep breath, forced out a smile, and lowered his voice. Yang Shijong, killing people is not enough. If you let me go, I will definitely reward you generously. Yang Yi didn't care about Li Yifu's words and smiled contemptuously. Li Shilang, people should be responsible for their own actions. He immediately bowed to the Empress. Your Majesty, I think the reason why the current one whip law and the land tax are slow to be promoted is because the officials below are lucky. Now that Li Yifu has occupied a large amount of land, I think that torture is not enough to follow suit. I think that Li Yifu should be confiscated and his family should be exterminated to deter officials from the court and set things right. After he finished speaking, everyone took a breath and looked shocked. 
confiscate the family and exterminate the clan. This is to cut off Li Yifu's descendants. This Yang Shang intends to use Li Yifu as a warning to others. Li Yifu's eyes suddenly turned red. This fool must be taking revenge. The relationship between the two has always been bad. Now Yang Yi wants to exterminate his clan. He doesn't believe that there is no personal grudge involved. He said angrily, Yang Yi, you are so cruel. Everyone is responsible for his own actions. Why do you need to implicate my clan? Yang Yi said with a smile. What Li Shilang said is not right. Your clan also enjoys the benefits brought by your power. Why can't they share the blame with you? If you want to blame someone, you can only blame Li Shilang for taking the wrong path. He suddenly lowered his voice. When Li Shilang provoked me, he should have thought that this day would come. Li Yifu's eyes widened, full of bloodshot, and his anger was about to burst out. It's really a revenge for personal gain. This Yang Yi has such a vicious mind. If he can survive this time, he must take revenge on Yang Yi. He turned around and said to the Empress, Your Majesty, I have devoted my life to the great Zhou. Even if I have no merit, I have worked hard. I was blinded by greed and made a big mistake. Please forgive me once, Your Majesty. I will die for the great Zhou to make up for my mistake. Wu Zhao glanced at Li Yifu, thought for a moment, and said to Yang Yi. What Yang Qing said makes sense, so let's do as you say. The palace suddenly became quiet. Everyone gasped and was shocked. The empress actually agreed to Yang Yi's proposal. She really wanted to wipe out Li Yifu's family. Li Yifu was shocked, and his head buzzed and almost exploded. A chill swept through his body. Although the palace was warm as spring, he felt like he was in an ice cellar. He looked at the empress in despair. But the empress didn't even look at him, and turned and left after explaining. Li Yifu's heart suddenly chilled and he fell to the ground. Two days later, execution ground. Li Yifu was numbly brought to the execution platform, and behind him were a large number of Li family members, all wearing white prison uniforms and shackles. The entire Li family was in sadness and despair, and the atmosphere was extremely depressing. Outside the execution ground, there were many people standing to watch. Who is this person? I heard that it was Li Yifu, the current Zongshushi of the Zongshu province, and behind him were his family. Hiss, it turned out to be him, why is he detained here? Hey, didn't you know that Yang Shang launched a reporting box before, asking people to report officials who occupied land? Of course I know this, but didn't they say it was just a decoration? No one went there. Hey, I heard that someone submitted materials to report Li Yifu, and then Yang Shang took people to investigate Li Yifu. I heard that Li Yifu had a lot of problems, and now his family was directly pushed to the execution ground to be beheaded. Quote. Hiss. The secretary of the central secretariat of a country, this is a big shot who can make the whole great Joe tremble with just one stomp of his feet. I didn't expect that even he would be arrested. Tisk tisk tisk, doesn't this show that our Prime Minister Yang is ruthless and impartial? The report box seems to be really useful. I will go and vote later. Everyone was talking about it. The three words, report box, appeared again in the heated discussion. After all, many people originally thought that this so-called report box was just a decoration of the court. Now even a big official like Li Yifu has been arrested, doesn't it prove that the report box is very powerful? For a while, many people were ready to move. They were all thinking about whether to report. After a while, Yang Yi walked in front of Li Yifu. Li Yifu looked at Yang Yi with a numb face, his eyes full of resentment. Yang Yi smiled slightly. Don't mess with me again in the next life. Sending your family down together is a friendship between colleagues. Don't thank me. Quote. A family should be neat and tidy. After saying that, he ignored Li Yifu's furious eyes, said to the executioner next to him, execute, and turned to leave the area. The executioner respectfully waited for Yang Yi to go away, then rubbed his hands, picked up the tiger head knife beside him, sneered at Li Yifu, and chopped it down with one knife. Puff, Li Yifu's head flew high, and fell to the ground with reluctance and pain. The next day, report to Yang Shi. An official came over and said respectfully, from last night to today, there are three more reports in the report box. Yang Yi smiled faintly. It seems that Li Yifu's death has given many people hope. Bring those materials here. The official handed the materials respectfully to Yang Yi. 
Yang Yi looked at it for a while and smiled. Let's go, measure the fields of these people's homes. The officials next to him felt nervous. We know that Prime Minister Yang never needs evidence to do anything. According to him, as long as you are innocent, he will never arrest an honest official by mistake. The problem is that it is impossible for many people to be completely innocent in such matters as land occupation. As long as the land is measured, no one can get away. Moreover, even if they conceal their own land, they can hide it from officials, but not from the people. They don't know who the people who were reported are, but they know in their hearts that they are finished. Three days later, Yang Yi arrested another group of officials, and those with minor problems were directly dismissed, and those with serious problems were directly suspended. Such a swift and decisive method frightened many officials. It also gave more people hope. There were more and more materials in the reporting box. One month later, you killed more than 30 officials this month, half of whom were officials above the fifth rank. Wu Yan frowned slightly, do you mean you don't plan to continue now? Yang Yi smiled slightly. The purpose of the humble minister's deterrence has been achieved. Now all officials in Luoyang are in danger. The officials killed include those of noble status and those of ordinary status. The humble minister enforces the law impartially and kills the chicken to scare the monkey. Now it's time to give these trembling, monkeys, some opportunities. Wu Zhao was stunned, and a trace of curiosity appeared on her cold and noble face. What opportunity? Yang Yi said seriously. If all are killed, at least 70% of the positions in the officialdom of the Great Zhou will be vacant. Now they are afraid that they are uneasy every day. Now I plan to give them a chance. All those who actually own land that does not match the registered yellow book, stand up and I can spare their lives. Wu Zhao was stunned, and she pursed her lips. I understand. No wonder you were determined to kill dozens of people from Li Yifu's family. So you wanted to use them to scare these officials. Yang Yi smiled and said, Your Majesty is wise. Wu Zhao looked at Yang Yi with a little strangeness. All the people from Li Yifu's family, including Li Yifu's three-year-old grandson, were killed cleanly, just to have a deterrent effect. I'm afraid those officials will be scared crazy by Yang Yi's methods. Now, as long as Yang Yi is willing to give them a chance, those officials will definitely take the initiative to stand up and expose themselves. Such a vicious plan can only be used by Yang Yi. This strategy of killing the chicken to scare the monkey is really vicious. In the next few days, Yang Yi released a one-month grace period for the officials who occupied the land to come out and surrender. For a time, many officials who were already scared crazy took the initiative to stand up. Even if they would be demoted or even lose their official positions, it would be better than having their entire family killed. One month later, the Luoyang Land Yellow Book was updated again. The One Whip Law and the land tax were smoothly implemented. Even the officials in Kyoto took the initiative to surrender, so how could the officials in the local government dare to resist? The land survey was carried out in an orderly manner and encountered almost no resistance. Great Zhou, Luoyang, Ha, Wu Zhao frowned, looking at the Land Yellow Book in her hand, and sneered, this group of fools, registered less than 100,000 acres of land, but they actually own millions of acres of land in Luoyang. I'm afraid that after this land survey, the area of my country will increase a lot. Wu Zhao said sarcastically. She was quite depressed, but she also knew that land annexation was inevitable for any country. But at least the current reforms of the Great Zhou can be implemented. If this were placed in a country like the Han and Tang dynasties where aristocratic families were deeply rooted, I am afraid that even the policy could not be implemented. Yang Yi smiled. Distribute the land occupied by these officials to tenants, register all the extra land of the gentry, and then collect taxes according to the land area, then the tax revenue of my great Zhou will return to a healthy level next year. The living pressure of the poor people will be reduced. Within ten years, the population of my great Zhou will soar more than ten times, and it may even become the most populous country in the world. Wu Zhao was startled and blinked her black and white eyes. The most populous country in the world. Why do you say that? Yang Yi blinked and smiled somewhat ambiguously. If we don't collect taxes per head, ordinary people won't have to worry about not being able to pay taxes if they have too many children. Why don't we hurry up and have more children? After all, there's only so much to do at night. Wu Zhao's noble and cold white face turned red, as if she had applied a light layer of rouge. 
She stared at Yang Yi expressionlessly and secretly spat at him in her heart. Yang Mansion. Yang Yi opened the system panel that he hadn't seen for a long time. Host. Yang Yi. Poisoner value. 210,688. Yang Yi was shocked. He didn't expect that his poison value had risen to such an exaggerated level. He thought about it and immediately prepared to use 100,000 poison value to draw a lottery, and the remaining king value was for emergency use. Ding. Consume 100,000 poison value and start the lottery. Closing square bracket. The system prompt sound flashed by. The prizes in the prize pool shone with light. After a moment, a series of reward prompt sounds rang. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the character summoning card, Song Jing. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining glass manufacturing technology. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining uniforms 10. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining glassware 100. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the character summoning card, Yao Chong. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the power of the overlord. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining steel smelting technology. Good. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the order to recruit talents 1. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining black silk 10. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a thousand tails of gold. Yang Yi glanced at his prizes and was a little surprised. He didn't expect that this lottery was so lucky. Almost all of them were top-notch. The character summoning cards Yao Chong and Song Jing were two famous prime ministers under Emperor Xuanzang of Tang who created the Kaiyuan prosperity in history. They could be compared with Fang Xuanling and Du Ruhui, and they were definitely not ordinary people. There was also the recruitment order. This time, he killed many officials in the Great Zhou. With this recruitment order, he could gather a large number of talents to fill the vacancies of many official positions in the Great Zhou. And the glass manufacturing technology and steel smelting are even top-notch. These are all important technologies. And the overlord divine power can further improve the physique. At this time, a warm current slowly spread into his limbs and bones. Yang Yi closed his eyes and felt his body. He found that his physique was strengthened under the effect of the overlord divine power. He even felt that he could kill a cow with one punch. The strengthening of his physique made his energy endless and would not be exhausted. Yang Yi's face suddenly looked a little strange. If it was matched with the Lao Ai inheritance he had drawn before, wouldn't he be invincible? He was thinking. The door of the room opened. Wei Zifu, wearing a lavender floral silk dress, walked in with ginseng soup. She seemed to be more plump than before, and her gestures were quite feminine. Wei Zifu said softly, Prime Minister, this is the soup I made, you can replenish your body. Yang Yi's mouth twitched, still need to replenish your body. I'm afraid you can't bear it. He coughed lightly. Wei Zifu was stunned and walked over with some confusion. Yang Yi touched her hair. Squat down. Wei Zifu was stunned and squatted down obediently. Ming Dynasty. Yang Yi actually intimidated Zhou officials. The one whip law, the land tax, was implemented without any resistance. Zhu Yuanzhang took a breath, looking shocked. He never thought that the gentry and dignitaries who were deeply rooted in his eyes were actually scared by Yang Yi. Zhu Biao's eyes were also full of astonishment. Did anyone really submit reports to his report box? Even if someone really did, Yang Yi's investigation was too rude. I heard that he directly brought the army into other people's mansions to investigate. Father, isn't he afraid of causing a shock in the officialdom of the great Zhou by doing this? Zhu Yuanzhang sighed, and his weather-beaten face showed admiration. So this is his brilliance. This guy knows that if he investigates according to the rules, he may not be able to finish the investigation in ten years. Moreover, those officials will definitely not cooperate with the land survey. Quote. As long as they delay, the two decrees will be delayed. Quote. As a result, these officials never expected that Yang Yi would fabricate a letter of complaint, arrest Li Yifu, find out the problem, and then kill all of Li Yifu's family, even the children, just to intimidate those officials. Quote. Next, as long as Yang Yi opens his mouth and gives them a chance, these officials will jump out on their own. In this way, even the upper-level officials will succumb. How dare they be dishonest when they are watched by the people below? They can only cooperate obediently. 
Quote, this Yang Yi, with dozens of lives, taught these officials a lesson. What a vicious strategy. Quote, Zhu Biao was also shocked when he heard this. He originally thought that Yang Yi killed innocent people indiscriminately, but now it seems that this was premeditated. This guy's plan is really inhumane. I heard that Li Yifu's grandson, who was only a few years old, was killed. He took a breath, and suddenly reacted, looking at Zhu Yuanzhong with some Beijing curses. Father, what did you just say? The letter that reported Li Yifu was fabricated by Yang Yi. How do you know? Zhu Yuanzhong glanced at Zhu Biao and snorted coldly. Biaoer, you are still too young. Although we are guessing, I am 90% sure that it is definitely fabricated. You have to know that the reporting box has been out for a long time, and no one dares to submit it. Why did you report a senior official of the secretariat when you submitted it later? Do you think ordinary people dare to report a secretary of the secretariat? Except that Yang Yi directed and acted it himself, there is no other possibility. Quote, he fabricated this report letter to target Li Yifu, in order to let the people know that no matter how high the official is, as long as he is found to have problems, he will be killed without mercy, so the people began to have the courage to report. Quote, similarly, he also did it for the other officials to see, so that they would not be lucky. Quote, it can be said to kill two birds with one stone. Zhu Biao's eyes showed shock. Father is right. Zhu Yuanzhong snorted. He touched his chin. Biaoer, although you are older than Yang Yi, your methods are still very immature compared to his. In order to achieve his goal, he can even kill women and children of a few years old. He deserves the name of the first poisoner in the Great Zhou. Quote, he he, if he hadn't killed so cruelly, it might not have had this effect. Quote, he is very much to our taste. Quote, Zhu Biao was startled, and almost forgot that his father was also an old butcher. But this Yang Yi seemed to be more vicious than his father. What a living devil! Tang Dynasty! He succeeded. Li Shimin was shocked, successful in such a quick and decisive way. Everyone was also stunned. They thought that Yang Yi was against the powerful and was doomed to fail, but they didn't expect that he really won. Is there anything he can't do? The hall was quiet for a long time. Li Shimin touched his chin, a little envious. You say, the land tax and the one whip system, do I have a chance to try to implement them in Tang Dynasty? Cheng Sun Wuji, Fang Xuanling and others smiled bitterly. Can this be the same? The power of the aristocratic families in their Tang Dynasty is much more deeply rooted than those gentry and powerful people in Zhou Dynasty. Li Shimin also knew that it was impossible, and he just sighed at the moment. Who can bring Yang Yi back to serve me as a minister? I am willing to exchange 10,000 black armor soldiers. Everyone gasped and their scalps tingled. They never expected that Yang Yi was so valuable in Li Shimin's eyes. Han, it actually succeeded. Lu Che took a deep breath, his eyes full of shock. Zhu Fuyin and others were also surprised. Since the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Great Zhou and the Great Han, they have always paid attention to the situation of the Great Zhou. They thought Yang Yi was doomed to fail. Unexpectedly, he really succeeded in suppressing those gentry and dignitaries. Lu Che clenched his fists and smiled at Zhu Fuyin and others. Look, Yang Yi can succeed, and sooner or later I can too. It's a pity that such a talent cannot be used by me. By the way, Zhu Fuyin, remember to keep in touch with Yang Yi. Such a person, Lian admires him very much. Zhu Fuyin responded respectfully. Yes, your majesty. Sijia. Dokken. Ying Zheng was silent. The palace was terrifyingly quiet. Li Si and others were silent, but their hearts were like a storm. They never thought that Yang Yi would cut the Gordian knot and use a vicious strategy to scare all the officials. This Yang Yi is really scary. After a while, Ying Zheng had a trace of shock in his eyes. I misjudged him. It's a pity that I can't meet such a person. Quote. Li Si and others were shocked. They didn't expect that even the conceited emperor was so looking forward to meeting Yang Yi. They couldn't help but feel a little jealous. This Yang Shang seemed to have a higher status in Ying Zheng's heart than them, the ministers of the Great Qin. Da Zhou. After Yang Yi took out the steel smelting technology, he handed it directly to the empress, which surprised the empress. You must know that in today's era of cold weapons, the quality of steel is still the top priority. And more advanced smelting methods can improve the quality of steel, 
thereby improving the combat effectiveness of the army. Yang Yi's steel smelting method is extremely precious. The Empress did not ask Yang Yi where this smelting method came from. Anyway, she had already assumed that Yang Yi was a natural genius who was born with knowledge, and it seemed not difficult to figure out a smelting method. After a few days, Yang Yi found some people, built a small glass factory, and began to study how to make glass. After all, it is not difficult to have glass manufacturing technology in hand. And glass is a very important thing in the future. Qianyuan Hall. Wu Zhao frowned slightly, closed the memorial in her hand, and looked at everyone. My great Zhou has been fighting for the past few years, constantly. If it weren't for Yang Qing getting some silver, I'm afraid it would have been over long ago. Now the war is basically over, and the remnants of the Qing dynasty have been almost wiped out. My great Zhou will take over the territory of the Qing dynasty and expand its rule. But I think that the economy of the great Zhou is still not good enough. Or, because Zhou has no industry that can support the economy. For example, the porcelain of the Song dynasty is extremely famous, the hand-woven textile industry of the Ming dynasty is very developed, the Tang dynasty trades with many foreign countries, and the silk and animal husbandry of the Han dynasty are also very prosperous. They each have their own geographical advantages and business advantages, but my great Zhou is a little worse. My lords, do you have any ideas? Her black and white eyes swept over the crowd, revealing an expectant look. Everyone fell into deep thought. The Empress wants to promote business. However, does their great Zhou have any special products or any advantageous industries? The hall was silent. For a long time, no one said anything. Wu Zhao's eyebrows were a little disappointed. Although she knew that it was difficult for the great Zhou to develop the economy, she would hold a glimmer of hope. Unexpectedly, these ministers could not give any useful suggestions. At this time, Xu Chu on the side shouted, Your Majesty, I have a plan. Everyone looked strange. Li Kunxiao, Xu Chu, and Dian Wei were all military generals recommended by Yang Yi to enter the court. Their strength was also fully demonstrated in the war to destroy the Qing dynasty. They had been promoted to the positions of 4th rank upper Zongwu general, 4th rank lower Zhuangwu general, and Waiwa Zonglang general by virtue of their merits. They were already important military officers in the court. In the past six months, everyone has become familiar with several people. Xu Chu asked him to charge into battle, and he was a peerless general. However, the plan, this guy's plan is not much better than that of a seven or eight year old child. Now he stands up, is he here to make trouble? Everyone was speechless. Wu Zhao was also a little helpless. She also valued this tiger general very much, but Xu Chu was too upright and often made some mistakes that gave her a headache. She didn't believe Xu Chu had any tricks, so she shook her head. Xu Qing, don't mess around. Yang Yi coughed lightly. Your Majesty, I have a trick that can boost the business of our great Zhou, and even create special products of our great Zhou, so as to prosper the economy and drive all walks of life. After he finished speaking, everyone's faces suddenly changed, and they all looked at Yang Yi in a strange way. Sheng Wan Wanner blinked her eyes, and she was looking forward to it. What tricks did Yang Shang have again? Wu Zi's cold and noble face also changed. She pondered and said, Yang Qing, you don't need to take action for such a small matter. Um, what trick did Xu Qing have just now? Yang Yi. No, why did the Empress want to hear Xu Chu's tricks after hearing what he said? He twitched the corner of his mouth, and he reacted at this time. Everyone seemed to be very scared of him. Yang Yi was a little helpless. Your Majesty, I really have a plan. Wu Zhao nodded slightly. I understand. However, I think your plan should not be used for the time being. I just want to revitalize the business of the great Zhou, and don't want people to suffer. Yang Yi, good fellow, has he become so famous now? He twitched his lips and said seriously. Your Majesty, my plan this time is really not. Wu Zhao was half believing and half doubting. Whenever this guy uses a plan, at least dozens of lives will be harmed, and at most millions of lives will be harmed. He is a top poisoner who will be offered wine by the king of hell. Yang Yi now says that his plan is not poisonous. She is a little unconvinced. Everyone is also frightened. Wei Yu and Zhang coughed lightly. Minister Yang, I am taking advantage of my age to say something. 
You have devoted your life to our great Joe, and you have done your duty as a minister. You don't need to do anything just once. We old guys, go back and think about how to develop the business of the great Joe. Xu Jingzong and others nodded repeatedly, with an expression that we are enough, and you don't need to do anything at all. Good guy, every time Yang Yi takes action, if 1,800 people don't die, it's not a strategy. Now it's their great Joe that is developing the economy, and they don't want to kill people. Okay, 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 his reputation has reached this point now. Wu Zhao seemed to remember something. She pondered for a moment. The envoys of Song State seem to have arrived today. I heard that they are also here to ask our great Joe for advice on smallpox vaccination. You can go back and deal with this matter. I am tired. Let's leave the court first. Yang Yi was startled, and then responded. Yes, your majesty. Honglu Temple. Tisk tisk tisk, it's different this time. I am going to get moldy staying in that shabby place of Bianjing. A man with bright clothes and oily hair and powdered face smiled. Next to him, a middle-aged man with a dignified face. Luoyang, the capital of Zhou State, is also a first-class prosperous capital in the world. My dear nephew can go for a walk later. This person is Zhu Jia, the governor of Weiyuan, Song State, and next to him is Gao Kan, the son of Gao Chu. Gao Kan smiled. That's right, I won't disturb Uncle Zhu's work. I will go out for a walk later. Quote. Zhu Jia nodded slightly. Go ahead, nephew. I'll let someone notify you when we leave. In fact, he looked down on Gao Kan, but since he was Gao Chu's son, he had to give him some face. This time, he came to the great Zhou with official business. You have become much more mature following General Heike. But you have become much rougher in the military camp. Let's go. Sister will buy you some new clothes. Wei Zifu took her brother Wei Qing and walked on the streets of Luoyang. Wei Qing looked at his radiant sister and said silently, Brother-in-law, how is he treating you? Wei Zifu's phoenix eyes glared, and her pretty face, which was well behaved in front of Yang Yi, became tense and serious. Why are you calling me brother-in-law? I'm just a maidservant of the prime minister. The prime minister is our benefactor. Don't try to get close to him. Be careful not to offend him. As a singer, Wei Zifu knew that these big men were always moody. What if Yang Yi heard about it and he didn't like her? You know, my brother Wei Qing was just a groom in Princess Pingyang's mansion. But here, he can learn from the famous generals of the great Zhou dynasty and even be promoted to a lieutenant. All this is because of the prime minister. What's more, the prime minister promised her that he would bring her parents and sister here. Although she changed from a Han citizen to a Zhou citizen, Wei Zigong didn't think there was anything wrong with it. After all, she was just a slave without freedom in the Han dynasty. And here, the prime minister treated her very well. She cherished her hard-earned life. It's just that the prime minister's physical strength is too overbearing, which makes her a little overwhelmed. Wei Zifu's face flushed slightly when she thought of this. Wei Qing scratched his head. It was the prime minister who told me to call her that, and he also said that he would give my sister a concubine status in the future when there is a chance. Quote. Wei Zifu was startled and a little surprised. Really? Wei Qing smiled. How could the prime minister lie to a small person like me? Wei Zifu was overjoyed. Although she was willing to be a slave beside Yang Yi, it would be even better if she could become a concubine. She pursed her lips. If I can become the prime minister's concubine, it is really a blessing from my previous life. Just then, a greasy voice sounded next to him. Tisk tisk tisk, what a pretty lady, why be a concubine for others, it is better to follow this yamen. You will have a life of eating delicious food and drinking spicy food, wearing gold and silver in the future. Quote. Wei Qing's face changed, and he immediately turned his head to protect his sister Wei Zifu behind him, with a pair of eyes as sharp as an eagle, staring coldly at Gao Kan not far away. Gao Kan's heart trembled when he was looked at by Wei Qing, and he felt that this man was not easy to mess with. He just came here to hang out and heard a few words from Wei Qing and his brother. He thought they were slaves from some rich family. When he saw Wei Zifu's beauty, he came up to chat with her. He didn't expect Wei Qing to look a bit cruel. However, he was also a fearless and stubborn man. He ignored Wei Qing's angry glare and said to Wei Zifu with a playful smile. What do you think, 
Young lady, do you want to consider what I just said? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.